idiot. Finish the Wasteland Survival Guide. Release yourself to his power. Heal his glow. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, anyway. Just what I've always wanted. Now, lots of places are nowadays. Good work staying alive in tough conditions. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know Let's your way around them. Have a couple rainy day back. toys of mine. And looking at this landmine gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. It's easy to make your own, too. Seven frag grenades, girl? God damn. Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Oh. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and it'll be easy. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. What's up, Horizon? <sighs> Take a nap, so I should be Gucci for a little bit. Let's just hope my internet doesn't go out again. shit there. Citadel, Citadel, Citadel.
Oh, I thought they were shooting somebody first. I was like, who are we killing? He gave me seven stim packs and seven grenades. Mora Brown. Need something, friend? No, hey, don't need hey, nothing. You honor us with your presence here. You honor us with your presence here. Armory to sell some stuff. When <sighs> <sighs> you guys are still just grouped up there, y'all are so weird. Don't forget to sign out. Let's take all your caps, lady. Shit don't crash. What the hell? I should have grabbed my uh melee weapon for these fucks. Talent stick, nice. Oh shit. Get away from me. The Murlocs the Murlocs look so different in this game.
That thing's just gonna drown itself, okay. Okay, buddy. somewhere Yeah. I think I'm still on hard as well. What the fuck was that? What the fuck I lit my ass on fire? Christ. I forgot I have the perk where the mole rats don't even mess with me. Damn, you are one ugly rat. Strong back. Oh, yeah. Damn. I 
safe is terrible. Dun 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 Forty stim packs is insane. Like just stop walking on those. I don't think it's healthy. Well, that leads to literally nothing. Sure, I'm still on hard. Yes. Got it. That shit is sick. Who's next? A workbench.
different way around. What enemies are nearby, bro? There you go, Moira. I did your job for you. Yes. of breaking into there. Where the well, fuck are you? Huh? Yeah, what is it? I take care of the water purification plant. That old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. <laughs> well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last leg. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take... Now, I don't expect much from strangers. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are... Check along the pipes in the... I hope you can help. I wasn't trying to break into there, you weirdo. He's always suspecting. Like, I was literally doing a mission for her, you fucking weirdo. I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Oh dear, all of them? Well, uh, I don't think I could water down the formula any further. With that much testing, I guess it's beyond correction. Okay, but uh, so I just uh, speed run it and, and not hurt them. Maybe you can find a nicer use for it, right? Oh, but for your trouble, uh, uh here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, I'll just run past but I'll need to examine then. the effects of They look so different in this trauma. game than they do in Fallout 4. I wouldn't ask if I, I couldn't fix you that up until, uh, afterwards, of course. Coming back to this after and that should be it for the second chapter. For. Which do you want to check out? Mirelurks are a big threat in some areas. And knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Mirelurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Mirelurks inside their nest. I got it. So don't kill any Mirelurks. I just hope they don't try to fuck me up.
That dude is fucking massive, bro. No. No. Don't you fucking do it. Jesus fucking Christ, how do they see me? I don't even have my flashlight on. Yeah, I'm uh I'ma just do that. That motherfucker opened the door. I did not know they can open doors, bro. Oh my god, who the fuck are you? And how can you see me? Fuck that she grabbed. Did she try to steal from me? What the hell was that? Oh, oh my fucking god, bro. They're just waiting for me. <laughs> They're fucking waiting for me, bro. They're waiting right on the other side of the door. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Where's the nest? Where's the nest? Where's the nest? Oh my god, I'm fucking lost. Holy shit. Nope, 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 no, nope, 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 nope. No, 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 nope, 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 no, 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 no. Where's the fucking desk? Where's the desk? Where's the desk? Where's the, where's the spawn? Where's the spawn? Where's the nest? Looking for the nest, looking for the nest. Looking for the nest, looking for the nest, looking for the nest. It's down there, down there, down there. Holy fucking Jesus Christ, holy Jesus Christ, holy Jesus Christ, holy Jesus Christ, holy Jesus Christ. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Ow, 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 where do I place it? Do I just place it anywhere? Where's it at? Do I just drop it or do I have to like place it in a certain spot? Do I literally just drop the thing? I don't want to drop it and have to come back and pick it up. Because I know I'm in the right spot now because I just see a bunch of their eggs. I just don't want to have to come back down here. Get off of me. Leave me alone. I don't want to kill you guys. There's like 50,000 of you. There's I'll put it in an egg. Jesus Christ, bro. These things are vicious. There's a Merler King. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me the hell alone. Jesus Christ. There's so many down here. That is insane. Shit. Jesus 
surprised, bro. <laughs> There's so many down there. Holy Jesus, fuck. Out this bitch. You almost got me so killed. Are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king or priests? Or they have a king. Scaly community center? I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first hand They're observations fucking mean. of them? That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Yeah, the stealth boys don't fucking work on them, buddy. I, I hate to say it, but they don't work. I literally used one and they still tried to beat my ass. Great! I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. Jesus so if I'm bro. ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Wow, what a great re- When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting. Alright, so I'm just gonna jump off the building. I feel like that, that could work. There. <laughs> I'm limping. <laughs> Literally one HP. Help! Help! I jumped off the roof. Well, how do you feel? I fucking hurt. Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. I try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe a fucking the ten million? Feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. You? At a loss for words? <gasps> oh, it's worse than I thought. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold that makes still. sense, bro. And, and quit fidgeting. You gotta play it yourself. Ugh. Can't just watch me the How entire can you be time. Walking around like this? Help me, heal me, please. I don't want to die. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's so now I have a smiley face from your side, though. <laughs> Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure too. What's up, Mostar? Though, how's your playthrough going? Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, what on kind to of the ammo, next though? Chapter. Is it useful? 
I don't use that ammo. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked, but a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you oh, can have bet. access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. This is where I can get a, a okay, friendly here. robot, right? And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any Robco other examples Industries. of how to make old technology work for you out there. Don't try anything. Who the fuck are you? You shit talker. What the fuck am I gonna try? I'm literally helping her. Dumbass. A traveler, eh? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I need you I to changed deliver it. a message to my family. They live in a with this. I just like the blue better. Where is it at? Mm, change it to like any colors. Here's amber. Small settlement northwest okay. of here. This looks like fucking it? New Vegas now. <laughs> I'll put it back to green though. There we go. Now it looks normal. I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. <laughs> what other colors are there? Hold on, let me check. Blue, amber, white. I think I have white on Fallout 4. So it looks like this. White looks pretty nice. I'll switch it back to green for the nostalgia. Alright, where do you want me to go now? The Robco facility. Please, no, nothing fucking kill me. I swear to God. What's in here? Oh, it's just mole rats. Or is there anything special I should be doing in here? Yeah, that's totally gonna hurt me. I'm so scared. Free war book. Let's go. I hear a ghoul. not gonna try to flush the toilet because it doesn't flush the toilet I learned that yesterday it was a uh, pretty fucking disgusting especially these toilets like look at that water bro that looks like some dookie in there 
Some spooky dooky. <laughs> that thing went flying. Why did he go flying? Thank you. You need energy cells. Check my. Okay, I'm still neutral. Bum 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 bum. Huge. Good job, buddy. Buddy. gonna use one of these stealth boys. I mean I could do this. Where's my shotgun? This is ghoul, I hear it. Come, oh, Mr. Mole Rat. Righty then. Well, these mole rats are huge, bro. Yeah, no, I I had to start playing this again, bro. I w I'm just waiting for the series to drop on Amazon Prime. Some people might not like it, but it looks super interesting to me.
bum beat em. Bum bum beat em. Ooh, book of science. Oh, look, another pre war book. Alright, where's the mainframe? That would be right here. Is it upstairs? So glad the mole rats don't mess with me. But before I leave, I'll go do that. What kind of robot is it? Is it a gutsy or is it one of the protectatrons? No, no, wait, wait, where, wait a minute. Where's my dog? Where's dog meat? I just noticed he's not following. He hasn't been following me in like forever. Jesus Christ, they're just getting bigger and bigger. Brother, signing C. Child doe. I almost called it a dog. The thing is definitely not a dog. Yeah, I'll probably do that next. I feel like I'm more than ready to go there. It takes my gear though, you said, right? So should I put it up or does it give it back like it did in the mothership? say ra roaches will not die in a nuclear apocalypse they will just turn into rad roaches All right, I'm guessing I go upstairs now let's go back this way just in case I missed anything
ammo. Shit. Upstairs now. What the hell was that? That was the weirdest bug that ever happened. That shit looked so weird. does make sense. real quick. I mean, I already get random encounters with the Talon Company for literally no reason. Those dudes are assholes. Kill me. Damn. First try. Come on. 
Christ. said I can get a robot in the parking lot. Is it this guy right here? Yeah. Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Of course you would, of course. Well, it just I've already done Mothership Zeta and uh, on this Anchorage. Gutsy. And it's not just Mr. Gutsy. He's a full-fledged sergeant. Sergeant RL3, to be precise. The pride of General Atomics There's vampires? Come fuck what? I mean, I know there's a perk. Hey, I said it was a beaut of a deal, didn't I? But to tell the truth... RL3 is a bit picky about the company he keeps, and he won't let himself get sold to just anyone. Makes him a bit of a tough lot to sell, if you know what I mean. But he seems to like you, so I'm not going to complain. I'll just transfer the codes, and you've got a deal. Salutations, Commander. Sergeant RL3, Gutsy Class, robotic soldier, reporting for duty. Dude, I gotta find dog meat. I literally have no clue where he went. Should I do New Vegas 4 or 76 after this? I'm like almost done with 4, but I can restart it. It doesn't bother me none at all. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. Tell me all about how it worked out. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, uh, made by humans. <laughs> well... Probably manufactured by other robots, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Can I have uh, like the robot and dog meat following me, or is it just one? Age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. <laughs> Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts, but I've got the rest pretty much memorized. I want to find out the history of how a successful settlement like Rivet City got started. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survival. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. Do some researching. Oh, now I. Learn the history of Rivet City. Yeah, now they. 
This this is definitely the best Fallout game. All right, I'm gonna go grab dog meat real quick. Where are you at, dog meat? Not out here. I lost my dog. Thanks for the subscription, brother. Appreciate that. Why does it tell me to go down there? Oh no. Hold up. Oh, like stim pack. Pow pow. Pow. Shit, I'm fucking heavy as shit again. Let me just eat some food real quick. Sell that for cheap, but I can sell it. <laughs> Looks like I'm cliff diving. Gotta talk to them on the intercom. Is that what it is? Welcome to Rivet City. I have. I met him last night and I grabbed him. I mean, I went to Vault 101, did the uh, that one quest where you have to like tell them to get the hell out or have a mata become the overseer here but have some purified water you I, I can st yes my please go what does it want me to do right here I'm gonna go inside. I'm on duty. Make it quick. If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they otherwise, I've got to see it for myself. Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannum to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. She's some sort of genius. You know, one of the... Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. She's not here anymore. What do they want me to do? Is there like something I gotta grab down here? <laughs> You're thirsty again, bro. I literally just gave you water. Like a whole bottle of wa purified water.
right, bro. I'm just going into Rivet City. Cause this shit wants to be weird. This guy's gonna kill me if I kill the thirsty man. Hi there. Hey, th maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. Yep, <laughs> bunny hopping everywhere. Yeah, well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Still. You are a newbie. I'm not a newbie. Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. He patrols the whole city. Security bunks down in the tower. Dr. Lee kind of runs everything else. She's... Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? There. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Can you talk Welcome to me Welcome to Potomac I carry... Blah, blah, blah. I'm not here to shop. Straight to the port. 375 caps. Well, all right, buddy old pal. Buy this. And these. Give me a shout if you need anything else. What do you want? I ain't scared, and I ain't your son. Damn, any other stupid asshole. questions, asshole? Jesus fucking Christ! You're a little asshole. Hey. Hello, I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good-for-nothing son lately? Yes, he's the talking to shit. shit. Usually up to no good. You got that right. My James sure is. I'll be in the muddy rudder later. Stop by, and we can have a drink together. Get away! I've got enough to deal with without you. And Jesus Christ! Fuck you, Tammy. Hey. Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. That lady's an asshole, bro. Here was our menu, sir. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna sell you some food. I don't need the food. We got some mac and cheese. We're gonna have some squirrel, some apples, some mutt fruit, some cakes. Holy fucking iguana, bitch. You can have those. Here's some junk food. Here's your specialty. Here's some more mutt fruit. Here's some Nuka Cola Quantums. Give me some of those back. Fuck that. You're not taking all of them. Here we go. Thanks. There you go, Gary. Stay away from me. What do you want? One Are of you what? One of them. I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Yeah, he is here since day one. <laughs> 
when he's here from like the time I start to like the time I end every day. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you, but I, if you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. Alright, so who the hell do I talk to about the history of this damn place? Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Huh? History? What history? No history here, man. Yeah, it makes sense. I do that shit all the time, to be honest. I can't really do it until I set up my other monitor, but I need to get a bigger desk. I usually have some shit running on my phone in the background. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Yeah, I don't know how he's broke selling drugs. I'm not giving him any drugs either. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. Welcome to Flag and Shrapnel. I don't think that belongs, that belongs to me. Anywhere. You don't know what, what belongs to me. Everything I have belongs to me, you little shit. Fuck you, James. James is an asshole. Fuck you, Tammy. No, fuck you, Tammy. Hello. I don't want to talk to you. You're an asshole. Saint Monica. I am Father Clifford. This is Saint Monica's Church. She is the patron saint of lost children. Very I'm popular, popular among the faithful people. of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. You would? I mean, certainly. We ha Every cat. Yes. My oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Thank you. You actually told me who to talk to for fuck's sake. Like all these other dumbasses. Hey. Everyone else seems like a fucking douchebag. Hey. Especially Tammy. Fuck you, Tammy. I ain't gonna have a drink with you. You're gonna be a bitch. Bitch ass Tammy. Weatherly is not in here. making fun of my name I am it's a damn good thing for you this place is crawling with security otherwise I kick your ass I don't think you could kick my ass you're bothering me. do I look like someone who cares you're a fucking dick why is everybody such a dick bro hey stranger Wanna oh my god it's butch well if it isn't my hero the guy who sprang me from the vault I think I owe this man a drink. Here's to raising hell and living the good life out here. Cheers! I know that All dude has the shittiest and we fucking bowl cut, bro. Wasteland. And his name is Sister. <laughs> what happens if I start the gang with Butch? I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Runner. 
I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. Brock can't kick my ass, trust me. You must be drunk. Are you good? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need... Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, but I can damn sure share a bag of get the hell out of my bar. First one's on the house. Now oh, sure. See, it's tied into the story about how Sister got his name. That you dude has literally that, the shittiest haircut, bro. All your problems. For good. Hell, take a dive he got that the Edgar cut. while you're at it. As long as you stop pissing away my time. I'll be right. <laughs> Bro, I can beat your ass. Get your fuck a shitty ass haircut. Hey, sister, how about that drink you owe me? Not happening, Trini. I already paid that bet. Go find someone else to hit up. What is up Wait. with her hair? Your hair? Uh -huh. That shit is fucked. You'd be worth some caps. Nope, do not know I can raise a fucking ant colony. There's so much I don't know about this game because I haven't played it since I was a kid. I never played any of the DLCs until recently. trying to get a reason. I'm trying to fucking make people fucking talk to me, but they want to be a bunch of dicks. Hey. All righty, buddy. Morning. Come here. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. When you're ready to buy, just let me know. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be... Alright, Mr. Bannon, you're kind of a weirdo. Trying to set some dude up. Maybe a different day. Not right now. Yes? Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a look. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to Ken's. His well, I could tell you all about my hotel but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. This quest is honestly kind of fun, to be honest. 
It'll learn hella shit. Actually, now that you mention it, he's been here since he was just a boy. And I can't imagine any... A little bit of everything here. Where's Seagrave? Hi, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. <sighs> a what? Exactly. Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. <laughs> Dog shit. You got a T with one T fifty one B? I bet not. Oh, I really wouldn't. I know. got the winter I version. Mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. She did? Well, I suppose I've picked up a <sighs> lot of the years. I mean, no one's spent more time tinkering on this old girl than I have. Oh, Rivet City, I mean. Not huh. Vera. Okay, I mean, buddy. Not old. And I haven't tinkered on her, obviously. Not that I wouldn't. I mean, um... Bro. Anyway, I didn't need to know any of that. In Pinkerton's place. Like, the broken any of that, I did not need to know, he buddy. He was around before me and used to store stuff there before he left. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago. After that spat with the science team. We used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway... We're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Closing time. I hope Vera waits for me. Don't mind God me. damn, move, Thank big you. fat fucks. Yes. Saint Monica bless you. Morning. Well, I don't think I was supposed to jump off to go down here. over here. Oh no, I'm getting rat poisoning. Is it underwater down the hallway? Fuck. Am 
my lockpick's hella high. It is max Rooney. What in the mother hell? Morning. Howdy. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part. I will you be right back. I got these hell you are doing I take bothering a an old man who I'm gonna grab another wants beer. To be left alone. Get on with it already. Say hi to Cat Albert. Fat ass cat. Even though our last cat was like three times your size. Alrighty. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. A cat? What do you mean? Killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. What do you mean I by a cat you stream? If you want. Just don't touch I'm going to put up, put up my GoPro on the cat and just see what he does throughout the day. <laughs> he doesn't go outside, so he wouldn't do much besides lay there and sleep and run around like a crackhead at like 4 a.m. for no reason. The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert, and I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> and the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her open. gang Hold of flunkies on. pushed me out. Ah, Project Purity, indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. You're probably gonna hear this fucking cat uh, meow hella loud in the next few minutes because he's gonna beg for food even though he's a fat ass and doesn't need any more tonight. things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. Ha. Huh. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. Nah, I'm, it's vanilla right now. I got it on Epic Games for free. Yeah, vanilla run. I definitely do plan on modding the living fuck out of it at some point. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago, we were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. 
She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. And hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. What are you suggesting, you little brat? I may not be on the science team anymore, but I still know how to keep records. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Don't... Alrighty then, I don't need to talk to any more of you. Finish this book real quick. Still neutral, so I'm chilling. Fuck you, you badass. Kablamo, bam, bam. Bam. Boy, do I breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is truly dead. You have a kill all run, bro? That sounds fun. Literally just kill everybody. I do want to have a super evil run at some point. Just literally murder everybody in the wasteland. I don't give a shit who or what it is. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. Yeah, I'll go down there in a second. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it Sub grew Lula. so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Bad, I didn't know that. That's nice as fuck. Yes. Books are where the old world kept its knowledge. See if it's still there. And if you can download records from its computer, information dumps like the building humanity. Or then I'll go talk to the Pinkerton real quick. Get that quest started. Man, what kind of bug did you get? That sounds annoying. What the hell is going on right there? Why is there a force field around the entire library? The Jefferson Memorial. Come on, bro. What the hell? That was not there before. It's those damn fucking enclave, isn't it? Fucking enclave pussies. Should murder every enclave there is. Captain, where are these androids? Where in the hell did you go, bud? Are you sleeping in here somewhere? You are not sleeping in here somewhere, so you're probably in your lab. Let me jump.
jump down and talk to you down here. Stay sharp. Um, how do I even start that quest? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, replicated man. Isn't it that one? Everything rigged up here. That is crazy. I just wants to murder anybody that comes down here and tries to fuck with him. I feel it though. Alright, I'll do I'll clear out this out uh, here later. You fucking pussy. Official patch blades and rib disappears. Preston and Rivet City and the Duck to pin down here. I play on console, I don't have mods. Does console really not have mods? I mean, I feel like you can USB mod it. I used to USB mod hella games when I used to play on Xbox. You just need like a, a flash drive and then plug it into your shit, but it's like a modded save. It's not like mod mods. But there's definitely probably a mod menu you can get. You're getting your ass kicked. You're dead. Damn. Who's dead now, dumbass? I'm dead. Looks like you're the one on the fucking floor. Hold Bro, he got his this head area popped. Is under the authority of the Brotherhood I am of part of the Brotherhood, Leave dumbass. Immediately. You're awfully brave to be walking around down here by yourself. Are you scavenging the ruins? It seems that we have similar goals in mind. It's rare to meet someone who has proper priorities. I am Senior Scribe Yearling, Order of the Word. I have a proposal for you, if you're interested. Oh my god, what the suck? I find that to be so with many wastelanders. It may involve money, if you choose. Or there may be other forms of compensation. But before you receive any reward at all, you will have to be willing to aid me in my task here in this library. You know, that guy got fucking wrecked. He got his head popped off. <laughs> that, little ro that robot is a god. I'm not going to be that guy. If nothing else, I admire your commitment to your chosen focus. But to the point. My task here is to collect the written works of those who came before, in order to supplement the Brotherhood archives. Although most of the pre-war books have <sighs> been destroyed, there are a few that have survived. But finding a book in the ruins is difficult. So, return here with any pre-war books that you find, and I will reward you for them. With money, because that's what you like. <laughs> Excellent. Should I give her the books, or should I just sell the books? Or does she sell the books? Or can I sell the books to her? Alright. 
Ha, circus. Chosen? Armies. Dud. 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 Nope, nope, oh, big dud. Chosen armies. How's that not a dud? I must already grab that one. Oh. I'm not locking myself out, that's for damn sure. Family, middle, little, no. Go movies, go ranges, we go caused, and then where's the replenish? I need to replenish, replenish, re 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 replenish. Come on, bro. Where that no? There it is. Oh, it's just a dud. Aha! It's not movies, is it raid? The thinks. It is thinks! Makes sense since it's a damn library. So 100 caps a piece from her? Is she the person to sell them? Okay, I'll do that right now in a second. Welcome back. I have pre war books for you. Take all the books I Very have. Well. Damn! Use, board. Use it well. Damn, son. Where did you find these? Optional retrieve, co retrieve complete library archives. Welcome back. The front desk computer has access to the card catalogs. But it appears you mean I didn't have to fucking to hack arc. that? Now you might be able to find the central computer further in there. Alright. Pull up my trusty dusty guns arena, yerd. Well, that's not the right way. Just try another bathroom. Yup. Who would have thought? Damn. Someone bleeding. Howdy, brothers. Fuck this. Bang, motherfucker. Bang, bang. Give me that, give me that. Where's your little friend at, buddy? Give me that, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Bing, da bing, da bong, da bong. Bang, bang. Any pre war books in here? There's probably like 10 million in here, huh? My pre war book, pre war book. Yeah, no, she fucking gave me so much money, bro. I'm about to get more, because there's probably like 10 million fucking pre-war books in this place. Since it's a, a library, you know? Okay, look, another dumbass. Fine. Then I repair. Bang, bang.
So, blah, 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 blah. Damn. Sounds like somebody already fucking searched everything in here. Holy shit. Look at that. I can sell that. Scanning, sir. Scanning, sir. Alright, dude. Do your scams. Big book of science again. Now I have two of those. I'm gonna read those real quick. Big book of science. What is my science at? 86. So not that way, not that way, not that way, not that way. Not that way, all these raiders died. That sucks to be them, doesn't it? They don't mess with me, bruh. Shooting at me and shit. This is my lucky day. Alright, so I gotta go up then. I don't think I go up. Cause there's not a door up here. Any more raiders that wanna get killed? What the hell? Who's shooting sucking baseballs at me, bro? Okay. You don't fuck them. You know. Dumbasses. That's how we do things. Hoo Not that right, buddy. Who motherfucking ah? You're a slaver? You can become a slaver in this game, bro? I did not know that. Seems like there's a lot of shit that I do not know about this game since I only played it as a kid. Holy Jesus tits. Fucking landmining me and shit, you weirdos. Oh my god, you almost got your fucking head blasted, dog. Counts as XP.
Bro, these raiders got nothing on me, dog. Their aim is terrible. Like, mine's not fucking crazy because of the fucking... Bro, if it was like hit scan instead of like... I don't even know what kind of aiming they have in here. If it was not hit scan and it was like... If it was hit scan, they would... I would never miss a single shot. Pretty sure if I upgrade my small guns to max, I'm not gonna like miss ever. Like not a single time. Maybe I should just upgrade my small guns. Cause I don't know if he's gonna mess with me. Shit. Yeah, I felt I thought I was gonna be able to like do some crazy shit with that Raider DLC in Fallout 4, but it didn't let me do anything crazy, which is the annoying part. I wish it would have let me do whatever I wanted as a Raider. Let me, uh, I mean, you could set up your raider camp and you can cage people and shit, but you can't do shit like that. I don't think, at least. I haven't really gone too much into the raiders. Because I didn't want to make Preston mad, because he already got mad that I let them fucking take over some of the settlements. He was kind of pissed off at me for that. But he can be pissed off all he wants. <laughs> I really think that shit is hidden. I really thought that shit was hidden, bro. Like, that shit is out in plain day. But yeah, I run over maybe 70% uh, of the mines. Who do I seen those ones? RL RL Stein That's your new nickname dog Oh yeah you're dead first You have a rocket Hell no you're not shooting your rocket Normal Yeah, I just... I go for achievements on that game though, just because it's I have it on Steam. There's not much I can do on the Epic Games version. Well, their achievements thing is kind of weird. There's like certain achievements you can get for like doing the Raider stuff. Shit. Well, I'm good at this guessing game. Holy shit. Look at that XP. these books again because I have a few blah blah da 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 yum yum devil bags Lab 
public terminal. I sit in the safety of the citadel. Here I sit in the safety of the citadel, while the people of the wasteland thirst and suffer and die. Here I sit, a pale, feeble old man. Yeah, you are pretty fucking what old, man. Really How many have I truly helped? The super mutants still roam rampant. The people still die. Yeah, that's me. That's a blue ass bottle. Radiation. The Western elders cease to acknowledge my existence. All right, time Some to of leave. My own have even gone outcast. And now the enclave. Technologically. Look at this, bro. Fifty-four stim packs. I think that is the most amount of stim packs I've ever had in any Fallout game. Yeah, no, Bethesda, like, went soft or something with Fallout 4. But then in Fallout 76, you can literally get nuke codes. So I think they, like, figured out Fallout 4. I mean, Fallout 4 is still good in its own way, though. I still fuck with that game so much. Just can't wait till Fallout 5 comes out, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a while, because they're gonna drop Elder Scrolls 6. And I'm excited for that game, too. Skyrim's one of my favorite games. All these pre-war books of this lady, and then I'm out of here. How many caps do I have now? 3k, basically. I'm about to get, like, a couple more. Howdy. Welcome back. There. Books represent the collect... By assembling and recording the... Whatever our elder decides that the... Bro, oh, I hate drinking beer sometimes because I gotta take a piss again. Hold on. Ow. I... I like all the Far Cries besides up to 5 and 6. I have 6. I didn't like 5 because I played on console. Primal is one of my favorites, but I have... I have 3 and 4. I could play that if that's something you're only going to watch. Hold on, though. I gotta beer back. I gotta take a piss again. Yeah, no, Far Cry 3 is one of my all-time favorites. I would play Far Cry 2, but I try I bought it on Steam. And for some reason, the keyboard controls don't really work that well. But I'll definitely play 3. 3 is literally like one of my favorites. 3 is so amazing. All right, let me save real quick. Just in case my game crashes. Anything on Discord I can see. I don't have anything on Discord, bro. Hold on. 
like the text chat I think there's a hangout like I don't think there's like a hangout like text chat oh like this holy Jesus Christ bro holy Jesus fucking Christ how do you have that many bro you you don't have to do anything you can literally just push anybody and just stim pack and you're never gonna run out Yeah, so I know it's not like it's not a cheating way unless it's like a duplication glitch. But that is so many fucking stim packs. He sent a p here. I'll show you. Let me save real quick again because sometimes my game crashes. He has 2192 stim packs, I believe. 2,192. That is so many fucking stim packs, bro. Like, I don't even think you need that much. I don't even think I've used that much when I beat the is game the first time. Are there books? Can I go borrow some? Really? Yeah, like oh, 2,000, bro. <laughs> I think I've used a total right of 100 there. per oh, playthrough. That's great but then again, I, I haven't played that so game on harder difficulties. Tell me about it. But Jesus Christ, bro. I suspect you and I are two of the only that people is so who much, really bro. appreciate its value. 2,192 yes. oh, stim when I'm packs. Done with this, I'll have to work on copying all of you this information. You need to chill, bro. You it took every stim pack while, from literally know. everywhere oh, ever but made. Here's a book of mine and some caps for your research. Nah, you can you can create them though too. But still, you need so much books. like that's just so much. Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini new stem pack. I keep meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be that ready to way print too and distribute. Many packs, Thanks dog. for all the help. Like Jesus fucking Christ! That is so many. Oh, cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I forced... Bro, now, you if you have over a million that, caps, bro. Asking the praise for helping with the book. <laughs> if you have over a million caps, I swear to fucking God. Okay, you have 66,000. That's still a shit ton. But if you were going to have a million, bro... I mean, like, there ain't no fucking way. I don't even think there's that many caps in the damn game. <laughs> but 66,000 is insane. I think... I think I have, like, 35? 35, 35,000? And I thought that I was... I thought I was rich as fuck. Oh, my! It's... It's brilliant! Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh, no, no, no. It's more than that. By our genius. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Alrighty, as a result of painstaking research of the waste and survival, your survival skills have improved. Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary... Alright.
Damn, my science is those max from that. Or do I have to read that book? Well, my stats are kind of up there now because I'm not unarmed. But who's gonna fucking fist fight people? Oh, that's useful because I like using the power fist on animals. Yes, Commander. I forgot. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. All, all these frag grenades, because I don't throw grenades. All this, and this, and this. Alright, you can move away from the damn door so I can get the hell out. Well, what quest shall we do now, guys? Should we do the replicated man? Should we go help Brian Wilkes find his dad? Or should we go to Vault 87 and continue the story? I am down for any. Or should we go help... And deliver here. I'll just do this real quick because it's probably quick as shit. Lucy's message. Haha. <laughs> you shoot me and you're fucking dead. The fuck did I just say? Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before. Jesus Christ, bro. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool. No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? Uh, look, you can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no... Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West. Alright. Whatever the fuck you need, bud. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Goody, I can hardly wait to... Please do come inside. Word is, what the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Fuck you, you so fucking bitch. They won't do. Oh, for the love This guy's a fucking Look, asshole. She's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? I want to fuck you up, pussy. We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safe. Barricading the windows and cowering under the nearest bed. When these psychos come to play, everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. I fucking kill the entire family, dude. Talk to Evan King. Where the fuck is the family? Hold on. Look, I. Hey, 
Be more. So I could kill that entire family with a fucking 10 millimeter, bud. You don't know who I am. Yes. Who is it? Yeah, no, that guy's a fucking shit talker. Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in, our unlock. She's normal. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. You look like Amato. It's been a long time. Like, you Today's literally look Karen exactly Shane. like fucking Amato. What in the fuck? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. I didn't like that but guy, bro. Really that other guy was a dick. Could have been like so no. much chiller. He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Which house? Doesn't look like this house. I don't see a bobblehead in here. Look at this guy's house back here. Did I already fuck it up? Now, hey! Good to see you. Which house is it? Is it one of the ones that I haven't went in? Like one of this one or this one? Let me knock on this guy's door. Yeah, I honestly give zero fucks about my karma. Bobblehead, bobblehead, ha ha! Bobblehead! Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'm trying to collect every single bobblehead. Holy fucking dead. Under the west have bite marks on the neck area. What in the fuck? It's vampires? It's fucking a vampire mission, bro? What in the fuck? <laughs> Sleep in their bed real quick, hold on. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't know I was going to be killing. Nah, it's this guy that was talking shit. Yes? This motherfucker. He was trying to tell me to let him talk. Look, I want to be left alone. He's such an ass. Son of a bitch. I knew the family who were going to cross yeah, the Yeah, no, line. like... It's only a matter of time. Maybe it's time. I was like, I what the fuck? I'm, I'm going back to Skyrim. It just isn't fair. I became a vampire, and then Why I became I a werewolf. I haven't done shit with the Dawn Guard in Skyrim. Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Which house do you want me to rob? You want to rob Evan King's? He's not in there, so I can easily rob his house. And I don't think them motherfuckers have shit. They got eaten by vampires. Is 
empty, empty. What's in your fridge, bro? I don't need food. I just want guns. Haha! I will take gladly take all of this. Took all his ammo. This guy's robbed. Alright, what's this? What do they got? Oh, yeah, they didn't have anything but some clothes. I don't need clothes. Those clothes are terrible. Well, I can't talk to the West. The West are fucking dead. Well, what did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men. Bro, I'll literally go kill them. them all. I'm sick I don't of them fuck with the vampires. Wait a minute. Besides that one vampire Serana in Skyrim, did she's kind of bad. Ian's body? Except she doesn't want to hold anything for me. I can't even give her like a fucking ingot. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Bite marks on their necks. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of yeah, us... Yeah, no, he fucking kidnapped him, bro. Unless the kid's like, I want to become a vampire. Take me with you. I could definitely see that happening. Because who wouldn't want to become immortal? I definitely want to be immortal. So, but then you can't go outside during the day or anything. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Thanks, kid. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding. Like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca, Seneca Metro, Metro Station. Station. All right, so let's go kill us some fucking vampires, shall we? <gasps> Shit! It just says locate them. That's fucking hard. How the hell am I supposed to locate them without knowing exactly where the hell they are? This is going to be a fucking difficult quest. What the hell is over there? Fuck you fucks. You guys want to die? You're lucky I can't get over there. All right, so where the hell are these vampires? You said moonbeam, right? Let me go make that. Let me go double check what you said. Donde esta el vampirios? I don't even know if I said How's that the right. How's going? I know I said I don't know that donde esta is right. <laughs> I think they live somewhere 
There's all kinds of places they could Hamilton's be hiding. Hamilton's hideaway. Like Hamilton's hideaway. The old I'll go check Hamilton's hideaway first. The north. They're probably in a cave, bro. It's a bunch of vampires. For being vampires, I'm pretty sure they're in a cave. That's how it is in Skyrim, at least. my source of income. You're starting to piss me off. Cave literally just scorpions, bro. Is that why you said it's not worth going in here? I mean, there's stim packs. Stim packs are always good. Can't go wrong with stim packs. Not gonna lie, I kind of cheated, and uh, I uh, <laughs> I know where literally everything is. <laughs> you just made my day. Oh shit! It's a fat fucker. stuff to sell here at least. 
purified by water? No. Alright. Well, they're not. There's no vampires here, just fucking dumbass raiders. I'm gonna go kill some vampires, I'm getting out of here. Howdy. Every day is a good day to die, huh? Yeah, no, that's not how I think, bro. I don't want to die. Fuck. Who wants to die? I should have fucked. Don't want to die. Shit. I'm fucking lost. Kill that son of a bitch. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go kill the family. Fucking vampire fucks. How the hell do I get out of here? I think it's this way. Seneca Station. Bad. I'm gonna stay daytime though. Just so the vampires aren't godly. Thanks for the bottle caps. But you're not not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Jack. definitely here. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is. It's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram. Grab my ass. I'm looking for the family, dog. You looking for a problem? My ass, bruh. Where is thy family? Keep it moving, Pete. Nice, so I have Why to go in the city. Impact! Right away! Give me that. Yeah, so I'm guessing I have to go in the sewers. Yeah, that motherfucker give me 30 a piece now. That motherfucker is not gonna give me fucking 15. They just make it worth my while to find sugar bombs. I just walk right past them bitches.
Oh, what happened, bud? Um, family, what the fuck? Now there's just a bunch of dead in my life. Is that a bear trap or some shit, bro? Yeah. I'd be very suspicious if I wasn't able to do the start. What the fuck? Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Sounds like an intro. Let me take a hundred of those off. Then quit waste. Why the fuck would I give you caps? Do I just kill everybody yeah? here? What do you want this? T I don't care what you need. Well, go explore some. No. Yeah. Oh sure. Look, I don't have time for your. Otherwise, they'll be. No, yeah? motherfucker. What do you? Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. We are a badass gang. We don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. It sounds like you're a dumbass. Fucking idiot. I'm gonna rob and kill everyone. I don't fuck with this dumbass family. They're a bunch of stupid fucks. Hell yeah. Just like my my song. It's the family diss track. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck is Ian? You got fuck you, Brian. I'm not looking for you. Die. What's up? Better, I suppose. I think Vance is finally found out after Carl apologized for all that trouble he caused. Good. I, I really hope you're not giving him a great reason to tell him about it. Oh, I need a hundred. A hundo for that one. I'll be handsome. You said what? Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take... Oh, so you're the village whore. Vance has him in meditation right now. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to... Nope. Like Sweetheart. I told you. Hello again. This is President... Well, fuck you. Like He's in meditation. Well, where's the meditation room? Sir, searching for targets. Where are you at, Carl? Coral Fucking Walking Dead. Sometimes with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Your words echo the very reason this. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon, and a of, beacon faith of for the tyrannies. We are the remnants of society. 
cast aside like the clean picked yeah, bones of a hunter. I figured beast. he looks like he I likes my to talk. Flock beneath the sun baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Ah. Your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic Oh, nature. so you're just cannibals. You're not even fucking vampires. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow like, imagine eating a human, bro. That is fucking gross. You'd definitely become, like, no fucking cannibal, stupid as hell or something if you eat plan. a human. What Get sick as fuck. In your eyes. Names like that have no meaning here. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover <sighs> what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Hello there, stranger. Haha. <laughs> Let me go read this terminal now. What the fuck is he talking about? I've never seen you around here before. Oh, I thought it was me. We do not eat the flesh of those who we kill for food. We only drink their blood and the flesh is healthy and unclean. This is acting as because the humans treat us like animal beer, not animal beer are the only family. Shit. Because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies, we can never let the past to offspring who would let in to carry another body. We love for play, protect only to nourish. We only kill him when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. Blah blah blah. As we are creatures of the night, we must. Except the nut who was silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. Kill not our kindred, slay only thy enemy. I really hope you're right, not bad. thinking of breaking into there. I'm not breaking into there. I got the password, you fucking dumbass. Are you fucking stupid? I'll be at last door, please. Catch me there, come Hi, Carl. Well, well. When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher. But if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay own. Do I look like a fucking babysitter? Yeah, kinda. I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. That's me. Fuck you, bitch. My first round of studies in Vance said that I was doing great. I think fuck I'm finally Vance beginning go. to get the hang of it. Huh. Motherfucker just vanished like a vampire. Where'd you go, motherfucker? You must have went over here. Wimpy hop. I bet. You have Vance. I'm trying to talk to you, bro. Welcome to Fuck, I gotta take another piss. Hold on. I'm done with the beer for the night, though. What kind of reward do I get? Do I become do I get like some crazy gun or just hella caps or some shit? I'm a resty human. 
You wish to speak to me again? I sure do. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the law. Fucking what vampires. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Don't go back to sleep. I didn't say you can fucking sleep, motherfucker. You wish to speak to me. I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Thank you. Yes, that's Jesus awesome. fucking Christ. Yes, I can see you eyeing him. That's sure, what I'm gonna say. You're a bitch to find. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. <laughs> worse than my parents. Damn. Why didn't it ascend? That's hella weird. Hold on. I have an idea why I did that. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? You must think I'm some kind of a monster. Yeah, kinda. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. 
I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. I wanted to thank you one last time for what you've done for me. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Don't worry about me. I've been through a lot, but I... I suppose not. I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. Jesus fucking Christ. If he wouldn't Christ. have done that, Lucy may have been killed, too. I just don't know. Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well... I don't know, I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows, maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even... When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside. Like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Alright. So you're a fucking weirdo. Hey, Vance. It appears we have a lot to speak about. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can <laughs> be trusted. <laughs> I didn't even read the chat, and that's exactly yes, what I did. Holy shit. I will not I'm smart. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. 
I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure. Finding yeah, this place. there's so many hardships, bro. Goodbye, human. Scanning, sir. Shish kebab? The fuck is a shish kebab? Hello, is that just a piece of fucking food? I do want to rob this place at one point because I feel like they have good shit. <laughs> but. Not right now. We'll do it some other day. way to move in this game. Just spamming your jump. Oh. Hold on. Let me go back to Vance. You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Why is there mines everywhere? Good thing I'm wearing this power armor. That shit does not hurt me at all. Shut up. Fucking crack addict. And then I'll be hop to Vance and then I'll be hop the fuck out of her. You new here too? No, I'm not a vampire dog. Go Vance. You down there fucking talking to your people? Yeah, you must be. There are those amongst us. See you later. You're not Vance. Oh, hey there. Where the hell did you go, brother? Brother man. Oh, where is he? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Please don't take me away. On the lookout, bro. This motherfucker's a god. This motherfucker just shits on people. Son of a bitch, who fucking reset the trap, god damn it? Fucking hurting my feet and shit. Fuck that. I hope 
of you. There he is, the hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Some vodka, bro. Sorry. I don't need your fucking phone. I'm gonna upgrade my small guns after I max this out at least. Already got the strong back perk. Or just got it like the last level up I did. What's another good perk? This one's kinda decent, not gonna lie. Person, cannibal, life giver, robotics, a Demian, whatever the fuck, a Damantium skeleton. Ooh, that's kind of good. I like jump. I like jumping off buildings. Loud. An ear on their corpse. This ear can be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the perk for the caps and negative armor. We can take their ears and sell them to somebody? What the hell? Master Trader. This is fucking... It. This is nice. This allows you to select a fourth skill to be a tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points? Yo. Should I get this? Then, or should I get the computer? I mean, I don't need the computer. Is that that fucking get out after fucking you get one attempt? <laughs> You're good, bro. It was before you joined the stream, I believe, that I I ended up getting that perk. But I think I might get tag. I think tag's really good. What should it be? Doesn't need to be lock skill. Lock pick, I mean. Speech. Barter. Or small guns. Yo, why is melee weapons there? Why the fuck is melee weapons one of my skills? That's annoying. I do not remember picking that. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't even fucking remember. This one's fucking stupid. I don't even use that shit. This uh, I'll do sneak. Actually, sneak's already there. So yeah, speech. Yeah, I don't know why melee weapons is there, bro. I don't remember... I don't remember doing the... I don't remember doing that. Um, alright, I'm gonna continue the story a little bit now. Let me go to Vault 87. And then I'll do the replicated man after. I only got shit to do tomorrow, so I might be streaming hella late. Oh yeah, 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 
return to Vance, I forgot. Let me do that real quick. Alright, motherfucker. Who the fuck is the Talon Company, bro? I wanna take them out. I wanna kill their leader because he keeps fucking with me and it's annoying me. I think you're dead. Shit, it's glitch. Say bye bye to your face. Come on, people, get on help. Say bye bye to your face. Damn, you fucking ate that point blank. That is insane. Stop trying to kill me. I don't know why the fuck you fucks are trying to kill me so much. What the fuck did I ever do to you? Your fucking rifle. Fucking assholes, bro. People are such assholes, bro. Fuck the Talon Company. Fucking dicks. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Okay. Oh, it's a fucking weapon. Can I get rid of them? Like, can I go kill their leader, bro? Because the talent company is so annoying. Talent company is so annoying, bro. What in the motherfuck was that? I think I went the wrong way. annoying I wish I could because I do not like them at all They're weak as shit and they can't do shit to me, but they're just, they're just super annoying. 
They just randomly pull up and just start shooting me three at a time. I mean, I guess it's good for XP at least. Damn, it does not feel like this is hard. A family welcomes your return. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. What brings you down here today? Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. I can only offer my thanks. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. This is what I do, can you To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the <laughs> Yeah, that is that is pretty fucking ironic. Spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads. I'd put on three dog. Listen to that three dog eared. With the life <laughs> force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. But that makes lead packs way more useful. Oh shit, wrong way. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that one HP for a blood pack was annoying. I just gave him the rest of my blood packs, but I'll keep the rest from now on. They're so common. There's always a brand new mine there every time. Alrighty, now let's go over here. What is, does the merchant sell anything good? If he sells anything good, then. Here I stop. Hold it right there, mister. Damn. Don't take another gun. step or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. Ah, oh, so just stim packs, basically. This is little lamplight. We live here, and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. No, definitely not. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. 
Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. The fuck is a Mungo? Is that some sort of like racist like adult term? Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. Stupid or something. I'm not falling for any of your tricks. Hey. Yo. Hey, so I'm, I'm only joining because uh, this is the spot where you need to save to pass the uh, speech check. Oh, okay, so I need to have the speech speech check. Yeah, then you could skip the wrestling with the other kids from Paradise Fall. Okay, so I just need to get my speech up, I'm guessing. No, I think your speech is pretty high. He just denied just, me. You could reload if you don't pass it. Oh, is it just, is that always just random or some shit? Yeah, it's chance. Mister, don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big. Huh? Again, blah, blah blah. The big ones, you know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do, but it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Hell no! You must think I'm. You fucking little. Dickhead. This little kid's gonna let me in, bro. I swear to God. Yeah, just keep asking if you Hold can come right in. Hold it right there, mister. You must... You fucking little bitch. Hold it right there, mister. Let me in. Well, Hell okay. Yeah. But you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Bro, I can literally kill all you little kids. <laughs> hey, look, it's a dog. Sorry, I missed your party. Yeah. Yeah, just get that killable kids mod. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally all just kids. That is hella weird. Knick knack. Knock knock. Sticky. Zip. Princess. What's his name? Watch Mayor it. McGreedy? Makes sense. There's a kid named Billy. If you want to go into the main chamber, he can sell you like a laser rifle that is, that is good? pretty good. Alright. So you said a great chamber? Yeah. Hey! Is it expensive as shit? No, it's like 250 caps if you pass the barter check. Oh, that's easy as shit then. Pretty sure my barter should be able to pass it. That's a bigger mag and it, like, deteriorates a lot slower. Souvenir? Watch it! Damn, Zip, you're fast as shit. You were just behind me. Hey! Usually along those, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, usually along those, like, bridges. Trying to racially profile, but he's a black kid with a speech impediment. Okay. This is how it is in the game. Oh, it's late. I'll wait. I'll wait a few hours, and then I'll fucking see if he's up here. He's probably sleeping right now. 
Yeah, they usually kind of just roam around. Damn, they built this shit? I think there's been kids ever since the bombs dropped. So it's been like 200 years. God damn. So what happens if they become adults? Do they get kicked the fuck out? <laughs> Yeah, they get sent to a place called Big Town. What the hell? Even that place is like... It has its problems too, because... They call you have me to Mongo actually Hershey. stay... <laughs> I think so. Like a racist adult term or something, I swear to god. Ageist. Yeah. Well, there he is. Come here. Come here, Billy. Oh, that's Joseph. Well, now. Don't... That's kind of. That's kind of racist. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, to be, to be fair, they, they're they both wearing the same outfit, so. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> he, I just seen the first little kid and I was like, oh, that's him. <laughs> Maybe it's this one. It's wearing a ball cap. Billy? Yeah. B Billy? <laughs> Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Widow Wamp White. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. Welcome to Widow Wamp White. I swear so he's I doing that shit on purpose. Mine Wanna buy right. my razor rifle? <laughs> Five hundred caps, and it's all yours. That's not a lot, but okay. Bye now. Okay, thank you. What's it called? Razor rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I got hella ammo for it too. Watch it. Move. Welcome to Wheel yeah, of Wham White. It has a, a bigger mag and it deteriorates a lot slower so it lasts a lot longer. It's it's just weird that he can't say his L's. Like my brother has a speech impediment, but he he can say his L's. It's what? just like it, it's usually the R's that they can't say. Either the R's or the S's. Yeah, like I've never seen one that can't say an L. Watch it. Kind of sounds like a baby voice you've never grown up with. Yeah, basically. Place. Oh, you gotta talk to McCready. Oh my god, now I gotta find his dumb ass again. Yeah. It's him and the girl. They gotta open it. Oh, nah, he just said a. He, okay, that's not even him. Yeah, no, he looks. They look the exact same. Like the same exact outfit, same facial structure, everything. <laughs> They're trying to make them all look familiar. <laughs> That's annoying. Wow, what luck! You're like fucking forty, I'm bro. Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town, where the Mungos—I mean, where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Oh yeah, that's the one that. It's the side quest. He's the one that yeah, yeah takes you to Big I'm Town. A there's no reason to waste your time with the kitties at Little Lamp. So let's go to Big Town. Do I have to fucking follow him there? I personally would skip it because he's super annoying. That's why I'm going to Big Town. So you see, I don't need you. Good luck with those There's kids. There's not any huge reward for you. To 
Where the hell is McGreedy at? Dog. Here's fucking Joseph. Being hey. the dogs, did you ever find yours? No. I went back to Vault 101 and he was not there. So I have no idea where he went. Did you tell him to stay somewhere last night? No. I went into Vault 101 and he didn't follow me in there and I did that one mission. And then after that he was just gone. Watch it. Hey. Weird. I mean, there is a bug that he'll like hey. disappear for a little while, but I mean, if you didn't tell him to stay anywhere, then he should end up coming back. It probably bugs out whenever I uh, fast travel. That, that's my guess. It doesn't do it to this guy, though. This guy's a god. He fucking kills everybody hella fast. Yeah, the robot's one of the strongest in-game followers you can have. Hey, what's up? You know. Here he is. No, the mayor said it's a, what the hell are you wearing? Since Mungo's aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. Wearing the Morat suit. Oh, that's good because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun on so anyway. This, this kid sounds like he's on a sugar totally high. An anyway. He's talking fast as shit. Got new cola? Want so soda? I have a gun in town. Then it must be okay for me to have one more nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know, like a zipper. Only not really like that because I'm not made of metal, but I do go up and down, I guess. I have, yeah. I haven't like went back in there after I told everybody to I get got. the hell more out. But... Anytime, you can for Zip. You can for Zip. Well, I got these pills that say Mentax. Oh, good job. Hooray! I... No, since you found Butch at River City, everyone's gone. Watch it. Yeah. Oh, where's this mayor at? I need over here. Hey. Usually kind of roams around, but he'll be in this kind of area. He, he doesn't go to the main chamber or anything. Okay, so he's just in the fucking little normal areas. Essentials. He has uh, big green armor. Yeah, he has a helmet on. I know that. That's why I thought it was that kid. He made... There's a medical district by the entrance to... Might be in there. You can sell Bumble to slavery if you want. I can what? You can sell Bumble to slavers at Paradise Falls. Oh, that's fucked. I can I'm a terrible monster. Come to eat you up. Did you live in the old vault below? Mayor doesn't let us go down there. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. She's like, hey, let's go on an adventure, and then there'll be a, a slaver outside. That's fucked. I hated you. Yeah, it's... That's so messed fucked. up. And, <laughs> you, can get a, you can get a special, like, helmet for it, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it's this pretty morbid. Zip. Yeah, it's zip. Hey. This is him. Come here. Come here, little bitch. You motherfucker. Nope. Yeah, he went into the okay, great chamber. So you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? Oh, shit. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. Stop calling me a fucking Mungo. You don't want to go there. We got pretty good I at usually just now. tell him to over open worker pass right off the bat, so I've never seen him, like, walk around. But, um... You know McCready in Fallout 4? Um, I, I think so, yeah. I think I've talked to him. Same guy. 
Are you serious? He's grown up. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The big ones. I didn't know yeah. they like do the like have characters like that end up fucking transporting to other games. Or translating whatever the fuck the word is. Yeah, I do. It's through murder path. Not a real safe way to I think to go. he's the only one. The only way that works. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. The computer's busted. And I'm the mayor, not a babysitter. Maybe he's back there I can definitely unlock that door. I'll just go through Murder Pass. Get some XP. Yeah, just Watch tell him to open Murder Pass. Watch it. We need a lot of shit that you can loot in this area. <clears throat> like, all the super mutants, drop guns and shit. I don't know if you wanna... It's kind of a... Grind to go back and oh, stuff. Yeah, I don't. Thing. I don't have the alien blaster on me right now. I'm Ostar. Well, these are the only weapons I have so far that are on me right now. You have the plasma pistol. Yeah, I do. I do have that. And I have the laser right. rifle. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have that special shock? Uh, you do. Yeah. Okay, so you have your shotguns to repair. Okay, you got what? Yeah, I didn't even really need repaired right now. Holy shit, those dudes are huge. <laughs> we want the end of that bridge there to miss one too. Really annoying. Oh shit. That's how we do things in the U.S. Army. Twenty fucking pounds. Yeah, it's. There's a special missile launcher in this game, but it's like super trash, so I wouldn't even. Yeah, go I, for I it. never use the missile launchers. I barely ever used the Fat Man when I play these games. The special missile launcher basically just turns it into like a grenade launcher. It's just like even worse. Drop down to like the bottom. <laughs> oh. My ammo now. There's only one special minigun in this game, and it's like mid. Yeah, the minigun's just way too much, so I never use them. Yeah.
Uh, 61 stim packs. I think that's enough. Yeah, it's like a good starter amount. 2,000 <laughs> fucking insane, bro. Hey. I, I just kill everything and loot it. Go back to the Oops, accumulate wealth. Capitalism, dude. Yeah. I mean, they sell for good money, too, if you need to sell them. Jesus Please. fucking fat ass. Oh, I'm still a little bit behind. Get off. Oh yeah, that's your first overlord. Yeah, he's just actually eating hella bullets from this thing. You're lucky to be a split hammer and not the driving laser rifle. If he has the anchor rifle, he can kill you super fast. Like, no matter what difficulty you're on. Jesus Christ. He'll just spawn with uh, Gatling lasers sometimes, but it's less common. Usually easier to evade. Oh, dude, you just stepped over the pressure plate. <laughs> as soon as I unlocked it, it just blew up. Those things like never <laughs> harm me though. Like barely do any damage. I could go on the right way, and then he turned around. I'm so confused. Is it this way? Or is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. It is not this way. Go straight through there. that door. Sir, the hey, you're going the right way. The great this is the great chamber. Yeah. Oh what the fuck? Oh reactor chamber. I just seen chamber. Thought it was that one. Yeah it's like the back way to the vault. Finding the Garden of Eden. Fucking random. And ass. the reason I have so many stim packs in that one playthrough is I would just eat food whenever I looted it. Was that just this game or did Fallout 4? That was this game. Jesus Christ. Just eat food instead of using my stim packs. That makes sense.
warlords are probably the strong the strongest like human type enemies or the not the oh, the overlords whatever the fuck they're called Sledgehammers. I don't have anything on them but a sledgehammer, too. Like, come on, bro. Can you hear me? What'd you say? Am I, am I quiet right now? I could rejoin. Oh, no, you're good now. You were quiet with that. It's the first time that you were talking. So you're good now. I think if I end up like changing back to the field to talk to the train, it's like, quiet. My mic just stops working as good. Makes sense. My shit does that sometimes. Oh, he wants sugar bombs, not cherry bombs. I swear to god, my brightness keeps like resetting itself every time I get on this game. Might be just something to do with the stream. This could suit this like dark place or just so dark I can't see shit. Yeah, and the the flashlight doesn't really do much for this either. Like in this game it's fucking trash. Yeah. Lawnmower blade. Damn, that shit was hella. You only need the lawnmower blades if you're gonna make shish kebabs. Are they useful? No, there's better options. Okay, yeah, we'll drop it then. things that are good in this vault are the Gek and um, there's a super mutant follower you can get but you have to have very good karma. I'm gonna load up my fall three and see how much ammo I have. 
Because I know I have tons. It's another one of those things that... Yeah, I have a decent amount of ammo, at least. And ammo weighs literally nothing, so I'm never getting rid of any of the ammo in my inventory. Yeah, true. Wait, no, I did not just do that. What'd you do? Oh, I'm good. I thought I made a new save, but like after I showed you my uh, steam pack mount. Oh my god. It was a mega nerd with this playthrough. <laughs> Holy yeah, crap. Alright, so 556, five, I have 10,407 rounds. 5 millimeter, I have almost 57,000 rounds. Metal armor and a metal helmet. Uh, oh, those eight oh. cells that you use for the cluster, I have almost 800. Twenty two and a half thousand electron charge packs, me thousand three hundred and fifty six energy cells. Almost thirteen thousand microfusion cells. I have a hundred mini boots. Jesus fucking Christ. and fifty two hundred shotgun cells or shells. You can get that too, it's just you have to be like real frugal with like, the way I do bartering is I'll sell everything I have that I don't need and buy everything that the vendor has and I'll usually always make profit on top of that. Buy 66,000 caps. Maybe that's a, a shit ton. Playing this game for 16 years. See, more of a Neutral karma of the robot the dog. I got to make it soon. Holy shit, they have a lot of dead people. Max energy guns, max level goes 130 damage. Colonel Autumn's pistol, I have Colonel Autumn's laser pistol. There's a gun called the Dark Man. I don't know if you ever uh, invest in playing web views, but it's a schematic thing. What's it but called? But it crippled. It's called the Dark Gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were telling me about it yesterday. Crippled limbs. I don't know if we could. I don't think we ever found the destabilizer for you. That's the uh, no. special. Me and rifle. Wait, the, the yeah. Alien, yeah, I do have the destabilizer. There's 172 damage, max level. 
I don't know why I don't have that on me, because I know that thing is fucking insane. I think you have the... Did you find the destabilizer, or did you just have the sentry here? Uh, I think it's the destabilizer. I have to check, it's in my house in Megaton. That's the one that's been shooting me. In the ship. I have the fire of Yeah, let's see. This must be the only save where I can move. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That one, it's called the Infiltrator. Okay. Oh. I know, when I played this as a kid, I didn't find anything like that. I didn't find any of the secret weapons or anything. I just played it and beat the campaign, and I was like, hell yeah, I beat the game. Yeah, right. That's that Paulson drew over here. I have a lot of special guns, but I don't remember how to find them. <laughs> I have sam I have the samurai sword. I guess I killed the ninja. Yeah, I want to kill him, but I don't know. Him. Oh, this is the guy that I can get, huh? To be a homie. He's like locked yeah, but you in need cage. Need good karma. Well, you can. You I can have, have him get good, and it's a saint. I gotta talk to him through the um through the com. Oh, yeah. I also have Spunker's end. Yes. Alright, so with Psycho and Yagoi meet at max level, the Terrible Shotgun does 120 damage, the Special Chinese Assault Rifle does 121. I should start getting the Yagoi meat then. Does it have to be cooked or can it be the, like, the raw version? Yeah, I just loot it off their bunk. Good enough. The Swan Long Assault Rifle, that Chinese Assault Rifle does 121. The pop pistol does 118. This guy reminds me of Virgil. Except, like, kinda different. Virgil's not even a real super mutant. Yeah, Virgil just did the cop out method. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely my nerdiest fall of the character. <laughs> I just have everything. I can remember off the videos just to get everything. I do have a character. I have a character. I give my characters plenty of names. <laughs> Okay, this one only has 500. The chamber in which 
I can just hack the fucking shit, buddy. Like, I, I can literally just get you out like this. Oh my god, that was so fucking fast. Oh, so I do have to fucking... Well, that's stupid. I hacked that shit for no reason. So I have a level 30 character that's very evil, that has 61,000 caps and 1,200 stimpacks. Long time. Have 73 nukes only. <laughs> I just have less ammo on this one, but still way more than I can ever use. Mostar said, How can you avoid Sharon leaving the player, or do you have to? Or what do you have to do to get him to consider it? Can you ask him that who joined you on stream? Wait, what? How can you avoid Sharon leaving the player? Well, if you have his contract, he's not going to leave. You own him. Who's Sharon? Sharon. The ghoul. Okay, that makes sense. You find him in Underworld. Get out of my head! Get the fuck out! What the fuck is wrong with this Sid guy? He'll die easily. I even take damage if I'm in fast. Yeah, but it's like super low. Yeah, because that motherfucker just sprayed like two whole clips into me and it did like nothing. <laughs> it's like a layer of protection. Um, actually, it's a magazine. A lot of those people that tell me that. Well, fuck you too, Sid. What the fuck? There's only been one occurrence in my playthroughs that Sid has been friendly. Yeah, I'm a fuck. I, I tried to help him and he wouldn't talk to me, and then I fucking came up and started hitting me with a pipe. Yeah, most I said he needs him for the last part, that's why he was asking. Yeah, I haven't even done that part yet, or that quest. He's not gonna he's not gonna unlock the purifier for you. Maybe you're slave, but he's not gonna do it. You wanna have a mutant unlock the purifier to go to the box. Idea. How long I've pictured this moment. But you'll survive either way. 
even if you activate the purifier yourself. Oh, yeah. This trend two weeks later. What's up, Fox? You walk slow as shit for being a Superman. You're supposed to be running, dog. The shotgun is destroying these fucking super mutants, though. Is that the special one? Yeah. Yeah, that thing slays. Like I said, like, max level with max gun stat. Got it full of terror. It'll be a good point of damage. Psycho real quick and just fucking see how much damage it does. Oh, At like your level, it might be like... Like, maybe so good. Second to uh, this. Need to this I feel like the super mutant shouldn't be ha have a damn fucking hammer. You should have a gun. I guess the dumb ones get the melee weapons. I guess That's so. the only way I feel. How do they even make shoes and pants that fit this dude? Like, what the fuck? Uh, the masters, they look like they wear tires. Like that black. Oh, he was in a leather. He, he was part of the actual vault and they were just testing on him? That's fucked. Oh, yeah, he's normal person. In fact, there's, uh, bullet tapes you can find where the box. The terminal in his um, room that he used to use, and then all the other Superman's got jealous because it was smarter than all of them, and so they smashed it. What the fuck? Just out of jealousy. Like, oh, you're smarter than me. There's not going to be any in the vault. It's, they only get like a random chance to spawn outside. A little half fight. They're actually incredibly lucky because my playthroughs, I've, I've found them like there's been overlords. Like when I try to go to do the Operation Anchorage DLC. Mm -hmm. No, no, I didn't. That didn't run into the overlord in the DLC. Yeah. Laser rifle. And then I just let all those fucking those one dudes just kill everybody. <laughs> I but literally didn't do anything. I just followed them. Probably done laser rifles. If there was any that would have spawned. Yeah. What level are you right now? 19. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna say, like, you should definitely upgrade repair to 100 before you hit max level. Yeah. Mm, that's what I'm gonna be working on. Just talk to Fox and then he'll go get the gag. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. And then my lesser minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. I 
I mean, if he did it as you asked, then, well, that's cool. I mean, I didn't realize he would. Oh, damn, yeah, that's I a lot of radiation there. Holy shit. 37? <laughs> and that's on the light side. Yeah. But, yeah, if Sharon turned on the purifier for you, then it's awesome. Which one it was his fox? Here's the get. Our bargain is complete. As promised. I think it has something to do with karma too, because I think I had Sharon I as a follower, it. and then uh, was very evil, and he's like, "Nah, I'm not doing that for you." That makes sense. He's like, "You're gonna do some shit dumb with it." <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna Don't die, just let me free. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So does this guy just not follow me? He just goes and does his own thing now? So, you have yes. to do the next part of this or you can get him as a follower. Sorry. All I would do is cause you to undo a tent. Nah, I'd be chilling. I'd kill anybody that talks shit to you, Fox. I think a lot more people would be afraid of him before they would talk shit. Yeah. They'd probably just try to kill him as soon as they seen him. Better run away. Yeah, one of the two. The Enclave and the Brotherhood would kill him. I know that for sure. What the fuck just happened? I'm blind. Oh, you stupid fucking pussies. Welcome to the Enclave. I fucking hate these pussies. Just let me nuke their entire town. Good work, soldier. Make sure that my arms are so dead because I went to the gym today, bro. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove oh. it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Oh, shit. Fucking yeah, there's something. Personally, I always like the the soreness in my arms whenever I work oh, on no, out. Oh no, same. So, I fucking love it. Yeah, Let's this feels really this good. Nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell it just me feels now. weird when I read my dirt bike. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. I didn't lose shit. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier. Now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that right now and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? <laughs> I'm not giving you the code, bro. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. No, seriously. Why do you Fuck insist you. on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, looks like I have no time for other school title tell. The code okay. is fuck you. Yes, <laughs> sir. Ah, a load at last. Look at this little come over, he I looks like he'd be the cool rat. Yeah. Fucking out of the machine. Broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think I see blue plastic on those fenders. Is that a Yamaha? Yup. A WR250. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. I crashed it yesterday. <laughs> it didn't like get hurt or anything, but I did crash yesterday. I have, I have a video. I'll send it in the Discord right now. If it lets me, it's fucking on the GoPro, so it might be too big of a file to send on Discord. Is that the one that you go for rides on, or no? Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, where Check I live is out, basically though. dirt roads, so... Hold it right there. Plus that, I, I know there's street-legal versions of the bikes, so... Yeah, it's a dual sport. As soon as I get them, you're it going looks like it has yourself. blinkers on it, so... Body yeah. Pack. I'm not listening. 
You're not going. My brother. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to kill these people, aren't I? Fucking bitch. Fuck the Enclave. You shoot me in your face. He's a little weenie. What? They're shooting each other. <laughs> what? Dude. So now you could speech check that guy to. I did. It was like a 75% and it failed. And then they just started shooting each other. They'll start talking to the president and be like, Is this guy allowed to leave? And then the president's like, Yeah, he's allowed to leave. And then you're divided. They were literally shooting each other. That was the weirdest shit. Stupid fox. House key, Nathan and Manya. Thank you. Yeah, there's like a super enclave. Guy that uh, lives in Megaton, man, he gets abducted by these guys, and he's like, Oh, they're not what they see. Now the president tells them after they already tried to fucking kill me. Okay, hello, that's Colonel Autumn. Telling the soldiers to this go ahead and kill you, you know, President no said no. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's previous direction. You are hereby ordered to the ignore the President. The prisoner from 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot. Yeah? Shot on sight. This is an order. Come on, try to shoot me, bud. Turn around. Yeah, you're headshotted. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk to one of them and they're like, yeah. And See you, you later. Kill him. <laughs> Alright, so Colonel Autumn's the fucking dickhead? Yeah, that was the guy in the. Little yeah, the Falcon fucking. Just, the one that basically it. made my dad kill himself. Yeah. What the fuck did they do with my robot? Oh, they'll, uh... Oh, oh my boy. god, you have a chainsaw, bro? Remember, so... You have to go to Canterbury Commons to get your robot back. Oh. The dog will spawn outside Vault 101. Okay. At least he's not gone forever. That was a thousand caps. Yeah, as long as you have neutral karma. In fact, if you have anything more than neutral, the robot won't follow you. So I gotta not be neutral? I gotta start yeah, but some shit? Yeah, but you get the experience right if you leave here, so... Fine. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a good saint right now. Yeah, so the super mutant will follow you. Killing him, bro. Where's it at? There's a bobblehead somewhere in this place, too. I can't remember exactly where it's at. Like, people are fucking plasma rifles, you asshole. This is where most are. I was telling you. The second I switch back to YouTube, it like silences me. Yeah, I don't know why Discord does that. Like, you're not even using your mic on YouTube, so it doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can think of is if it's a background thing, but still, like, 
I'm able to talk on Damn, phone. Forty five. That's hella late. <sighs> trying to look for that bobblehead. It's not gonna be on this level. It's gonna be on the like as you're leaving. I think you run into uh, one of Dr. Lee's assistants. It's in that same room. My cat's on my bed. Yeah, mine is too. He's just laying there, staring at me. Mine's right in the middle. Is that a fucking I death claw? It's the first one I've seen all game. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's, there's at least one. But if you release it, it'll actually. I'm so lost on what these guys are trying to doing, trying to be doing. I just keep saying fall back. Oh, it's the scientists that say that. Yeah, They're like cowards. That. Like they have guns. Fucking pussies. Uh, definitely super friendly. These are fucking straight dicks. Back to regroup. <laughs> Open sesame. I found the bobblehead. Energy okay, weapon cool. bobblehead. Hell yeah. Plus 10. about to say bro what the fuck is going on what the fuck oh yeah the super bots end up killing those because I think the president has control over the bots that makes sense because those dudes weren't even shooting at me they just got fucking lit up by the robots. <laughs> right. Imagine signing up for something and then your boss is fuck you, die. For real. Oh. You got a fucking robot. Okay. He's AI. Tell him to yeah, he said, blow he, everything up. Yeah, most are said uh, any companion companion that is resistant to radiation can go get the purifier for you. You're too kind. You and I have much to discuss. Okay. Yeah, 
I think I think Palmer has some. Vaguely remember trying to tell the cool to go do it, and he's like, nah. Like even the even Fox, like. I think if I had like the world of karma, like, no, this is your destiny. Go do it. That's a bit of a fleet Cause you gain karma I when you activate it yourself, so you I think that, that has something to do with it. You. Okay. What I ask of you needs explanation, so you understand. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this brotherhood of steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. She was just like a robot version of a, a little German fellow. Yep. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you. Make the modification necessary. And if you were to do the, if you put the FEV into the system when you do the purification, it ends up making the purified water useless. Damn, In that's fucked. <laughs> like everybody, including yourself, gets sick. Of the purifier controls can be inserted directly into the console. Then enter the code necessary to start the purifier. The automated systems will take care of the rest. That's all you need. Excellent. I am pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time, I suggest. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'm afraid I won't be persuaded. Do the science one. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended but shouldn't we all be thankful that i'm here now said you need the broken steel dlc or they won't go in there because unlike humans i am infallible because i've had i've had seen you be before be, i think i've even had the ghoul do it processing internal logic error i've always had the dlc <laughs> i made him just become like the the fucking dumb he couldn't figure out what to say Fucking Resetting computer. primary memory circuits. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Yeah, you can basically just make him crash. Analyzing command. New course of action dictated. Civilian is advised to secure hazardous FEV material to prevent explosive decompression. Civilian also advised to evacuate complex in by the console. This is gonna fucking blow this entire thing. Yeah. Um, having these robots help me is so useful. It saves a lot of time for sure. There's a um, there's a barricade that's it's one of those electrical fences that you saw wrapped around the Jefferson Memorial. And behind it is a gallon meter. If you want it. It's a what? 
Gatling laser. Kind of goes, like... Fuck that, those things weigh so much. Holy shit, that thing just got, that thing just got fucked up. Yeah, it sucks that that's the only way you can really do it in this game. You stay up the waste ammo. Uh... Enclave Hellfire Armor. Is that worth any? Oh, that's worth hella money. Uh, that's what most star was talking about the other day. It's it is worth a lot. I would say recruit the super mutant since he's there, and then have him carry it. Makes sense, yeah. Grim Reapers, if you kill a target in VATS, oh, all your yeah. action points are restored. Every location is revealed on your map, so you go get out there and explore. I think I already did that. <laughs> Gain an additional 30 hit points. Your age here now. Daddy's boy. Which I don't need that. That shit's basically maxed. Fuck, I don't even know what I get. I think I'm just gonna get Life Giver. I don't see anything else that's kind of useful, to be honest. Fascinating one at that. Oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Is it fully repaired? It gives you more damage resistance to the one that I'm wearing right now. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored. Have something to say? Yes, by all means, let's.
have something to say. Yes, by all means, let's. Runs hella weird. What the fuck? <laughs> he runs around like he has a weird backpack on. Yeah, I mean he does. He has that on. That makes a little. That makes some sense. Runs around like the nerd in high school. Yeah. Nice, I'm addicted to Fuck are these people? Yes? What the fuck? These guys almost got hit by some fucking plane parts. The hell do you want? <laughs> We're trying to find this place up north called Oasis. But we ain't interested oh, in shit. Oh, in there? That we um, we either pick the lock or. You can go around okay, the right where side. Where the fuck are y'all shooting? You stupid fucks. That's what y'all get. That motherfucker just shit on all of you. Schematics are a dark gun in there. Alright, I'm gonna grab it. See what these dumbasses have. But they don't have shit. Yeah, that was a random encounter. That's not always there. Oh, nice. We're trying to find Oasis. Are they were trying to find Oasis? Yeah. So there's another one that you can come across. It's like this guy that's like tripping balls. He's all, there's a veritable Oasis. Everything's green. And then they'll like die. Is that the, like the talking tree shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. I've done that entire quest line when I was younger. I thought that shit was hella cool. Yeah, it's it's cool, but like the way to get there is like like in a cavern. Or not a cavern, but like a canyon. Yeah. Now you can make a dark gun. All you need is a red scorpion gland, a pink gun toy car and surgical tubing I think I just need a paint gun and then I have it then because I already have all the other stuff you pretty much find everything you need at the minefield y'all better leave me the fuck alone oh. alright bitch I would say Mirelurks in this game are a lot harder to kill than in Fallout 4. Yeah. They look a lot different too. Fuck you. They look more like people in this game. Yeah. They like don't... in Fallout 4, they look like crabs. Yeah, they literally actually look like crabs in that game. 
I always thought it was funny is the my other game in this game looks like the one an the actual Fallout person. 4. Yeah, the Fallout 4 my other things are fucking fast. Yeah. I'm gonna teleport and shit. No, no, there's no, no Marla Queen in this game, thankfully. Yeah, that thing's fucking huge. Yeah. They're not, these people aren't gonna kill my super mutant homie, right? No, uh, he's got tons of health. I'm talking about the fucking Brotherhood. <laughs> oh, no, no. I... Any follower you have, basically, person. Okay. I'm on Fallout 4, they make remarks when you have, like, a super mutant homie and shit. Yeah. They do some, like, say some racist shit just because he's fucking different. <laughs> yeah, when you get strong. My game probably is about to crash. Everything does seem a little bit more sped up. I'll figure it out. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, yeah, was... Sarah. Oh, so shit. we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then you got what? caught into the, the risk is not worth the reward. Conversation because it's the, the, Gek, the last talk before the, the final anyway. mission. They may yeah. give up before long. I don't like it. I was gonna go you sell don't have shit to like too. It, Sarah. You, just have you to can still, as long as you tell. Yes, father. Uh, so you're back. We had fear that you to and the Gek were up. lost. Were you successful? Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the pure. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we... It was good once. I see. Thank you. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The pride goes in, but I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is all Let's his daughter go into battle without That's a helmet. Enough. Can you make yeah, it like, work? what the fuck? Honestly, one shot to the head. I don't know. Fucked. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. <sighs> then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Not going yet. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived. You've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. I already have you better power armor or than you have. Armor. Yeah, but if you could, you could still get it and sell it. Yeah. So it's just, what's better, the recon or the power? Probably the power, huh? Yeah. Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Now that's what I like to hear, so you all packed? We're not coming. Hurry! I need to go to Megaton and grab my fucking good guns too if this is gonna be the last mission so I have a so I can actually use them.
Yeah. What? <coughs> you don't need like the alien blaster or anything. No, but... no, I was just gonna get like the disintegrator or whatever the fuck it was called. Not this oh, one. Yeah. The, the other one. Damn, holy shit, she's already that broke? Hold on. She can only buy the power armor, basically. She's broke. Do you have stip packs? Um, five. Fucking broke as fuck. Another She's mostly like a ammo kind of seller, usually. Makes sense. Damn, get out of the way, fat ass. I shall be back. You know, without having the DLCs, there's so much sh more shit to do. Like, it's kind of lame that if you didn't have the DLCs, the game just ends and you have to restart. Like, that's kind of lame. Want something? Yeah. You yeah. Something? I guess they just pretty much expected people to do everything before the end. It's honestly not that long of a game if you just do only the ca the main mission. There's so much like extra shit to do. Yeah. here at Megaton, I would definitely try to get rid of stuff that you definitely won't be using, like any miscellaneous, anything. That way you could kind of load up on loot. Yeah, that's why I'm putting like almost everything besides a couple guns into the fucking shit. I'm gonna sell all this buff out, because I don't use the buff out at all. Yeah, that stuff's basically useless once you get to a higher level anyway. Yeah. the big robot's gonna do most of the killing. All you have to do is just loot. Yeah, basically. Seventy one stim packs. Yeah, it's pretty good. So what I would end up doing, I mean, I would invest a lot of time in my playthroughs, so like through this whole run, obviously you're going to collect more than what your carry weight could handle. So there's like a little subway area in like the middle. And I would store everything that I can't carry in this cool machine and come back for it later to sell it. That makes hella sense. That's how I ended up with so many calves. Okay. Ooh, 
Yeah. The DLCs honestly make you OP as shit once you beat them because you have literally every fucking, like, the best shit in the game. Yeah, you got, like, all the high powered weapons already. <laughs> Good karma. Last best hope of humanity. Nice. After I do this, just become evil as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That shit would be hella funny. You're like, yo, I thought you were like the best person. Like, nah, bro. I'm evil as shit. I just wanted to get rid of. I have a max. Level, I have a max level character that's very evil. I just can't remember what it does. <laughs> All right, lady, I'm ready to go. I got three guns. Should be enough. Are you ready now? Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up. Not to just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing you step on you. you whenever you need. You should be fine. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go over it one more. That's time. why I barely used the epoxy the at all this me. entire playthrough. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get Honestly, into the facility for most guys, you don't up. really need to. Rockchild say this robot should be able to take test. down the energy field. Yeah. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get Mostly it used it, it on the to alien go. weapon, to be honest. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the yeah, facility. Yeah, just like guns you can't repair we'll normal stuff with. We keep them occupied yeah. while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to Can move the, quickly uh, before we lose the, the chance to surprise them. The, get whatever the supplies you don't already no? have, and we'll meet in the bailey. We can. Done with this, um, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water. If on you the were move. to, uh... All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Instead Try, of passing more as, um... Survival guide. If you're gonna like tell her that it's bad, you shouldn't include the guide. You can get like a it's called the green pressure perk, which upgrades her repair to four. I can also make this fucking mutant, this fox, hold a bunch of shit too. I don't think he has a limit. He does. Okay. In fact, he carries as much as he can. I'm gonna put as much as I can on him, and then I'll. You honor us with your presence here. There's a glitch that you can use whenever you do the Point Lookout DLC that you can basically make a... There's a guy named Haley, and he has his own shop, and you could glitch the game into where you can upgrade it. Repair all the way to 100, so you can repair and do max level. Damn. He still thinks that he's fighting Chinese soldiers instead of Encore. Thank you very much. 
for this guy over here. That gives me back down to 100. What the fuck? There's pieces of people everywhere. Holy shit. So it's true in the ground meat. Most stars saying his next run is going to be without the DLC. I don't yeah. know why. To make it harder. You didn't mention Broken Steel, so maybe you'll be able to complete or keep going after the end game. so I can put some shit in because I can't move. Uh, you'll see it. It's like... You'll walk through the electric barricade. Uh, I would store whatever you can on the uh, box. Yeah, you can't now. hold anything else. Oh, shit. Okay, I mean, if you're willing to walk a little bit longer, um, Liberty Prime is going to go down through a subway area. It's gonna be that first electric barricade in the subway stairs. Oh god, I guess I'm walking. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm moving so fast. <laughs> I mean, if you want to cheat, you could type in TGM in your console. Well, that's all I needed to do. I did not want to go walking. Yeah, it's just god mode. It's not a cheat, it's not a cheat, it's not a cheat, it's not a cheat. Plus, uh, you won't run out of ammo either. You could take everything off their corpses. Yeah, it's fucking... That shit is useful as fuck. Detected on American soil. God damn.
fucking pieces of people literally everywhere. That is insane. Fucking robot is doing some damage. Communism is a lie. I guess she's just following me and that's it. She's not even helping her fucking people. Yeah, so you can imagine doing this on console, how many times I'd have to go back and forth between where I'm at and the subway. They don't have commands on there? Oh, hell no. Oh, damn, that fucking sucks. So I'd have to do that slow, I'd have to do that slow walk all the way back to the yeah, subway. Yeah, no, that shit, I wouldn't even fucking do it at that point. It's how nerdy I used to get on this. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> this shit, that shit takes so much time because you walk slow as shit. Yeah. And you can't jump or anything, so you can't even like fucking bunny hop everywhere. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on my hands when I was younger. Yeah. Well, as a kid, you don't really do much besides fucking whatever you want, so. Yeah. It's funny because you have to like check every piece of meat I know. to make sure that they're not the same. <laughs> like, fuck. There's just multiple pieces, like everywhere. Like, two pieces of, could be right, three pieces could be right next to each other, and it's three different people. Yeah. and blow up that vertebrae. Communist target acquired. Holy shit.
because of the dollar signs. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking stupid rich. Side too. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna take some sides over real quick. Look at my weight. <laughs> oh, it's still behind. So shit, two thousand pounds. That shit is insane. Where'd my psycho go? The best thing about this is if you use bats under god mode, you can choose to shoot like as many times as you want. Oh, that is insane. So I could just use like a BB gun and spam it. Yeah, basically. And kill a whole ass enclave soldier army with BB gun. Just do a whole ass BB gun playthrough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be hella funny. Like, I, I, I beat fucking Fallout 3 with only using a BB gun. I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> you and your ilk seem hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. Fuck There's nothing pussy. to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. I beg to differ. The Enclave is. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for... The American people are worth fighting for. The future mu Should I just kill him or should I talk him out of it? Either or he dies, but I would kill him because he can get his laser pistol. If oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> that was like a Mr. President I got in his way. Cover him. Now you're literally nothing but a puddle of goo. <laughs> well, that takes care of that. By now the pride should be He's literally up nothing but a puddle of goo now. Outside. Let's get this room secured. Yeah, like after everything he's been through, it's just reduced to a pile of is on the floor. Yep. Like that's all he is now. That's all he ever was, to be honest. True. There's pressure building up in the holding tank. It needs to be released now, or else the whole Make sure to not sell his laser pistol because you can actually shoot faster with than any other pistol in the game. Have to be turned on now. What the fuck? How did my dad get out of there? Oh, they probably cleaned his body out. That makes sense. Well, so much for celebrating. You probably see if Fox will do the fear fire with that big karma. Yeah. Remember, I did it last time when I beat the game as a kid, and I fucking. So what should we do? Draw straws. If that's how you want to do this, fine. Or you can have the but girl do it. it. You have lions do it, she Easy. dies, bro. Yeah, that's why I said I'm gonna do Fox, yeah. What shall we do? Ah, of course. I would say that your destiny 
lies within that chamber. But you have yeah, I don't want to die, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> the least I, I mean, you won't, but yeah. Return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to the Did this guy die? absorb the radiation? No. Okay, good. I was gonna be like, damn, this sucks. If anything, it probably makes them stronger. They gotta go somewhere? Oh, yeah, he can't be in the same room. B, because he's gonna. Oh, so I just gotta get out there of here. Go. No, no, so. You just can't be in, like, the same, because you gotta close that door. So just hit that little control panel. I can't. It says the panel allows for the input additional filtration chemicals. Uh, that one. There's a there's a little like switch oh. by the stairs. Okay, that makes sense. that is bright. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland <laughs> proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. So ends the story of the lone wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. War never changes. Todd Howard. So I can just continue? Yeah. Let's say two weeks later. You again. What? Wait, what the fuck? Why did it take you back to the menu? You and your yeah, that's, that's, team that's what I was thinking. Destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you, you this time. Kill? Let's end this. I have the game of the year edition, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe it's if you only sacrifice yourself. I've never seen that. Here, I'll sacrifice myself. I'll try doing that. Well, that takes care of By now, the pride should be mopping up with... Let's get this room's. Hello. Oh, sorry, what the Hello, fuck? Hello, is anyone there? Doctor Lee, it's Sarah Dr. Lyons. Lee. I'm Dr. in the Dr. control room. We're both here. What's going yeah, on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious. I was problem. like, what the fuck? The facility has been damaged. I'm not gonna be able to play afterwards. Some of it looks accidental. Some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure. 
Back to the loading screen. Back to the loading screen. Now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. You understand me? It has to be turned on. If it does it again, I'll check to see if I have it. But I have the game of the year edition, so I feel like it should. I should have it. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there are all the other DLCs. I don't know how it works on. Did you say you got on Epic Games? Yeah. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. Because on Not Steam, exactly there's like a so, preload you're going to have to be quick about settings it. menu where you make sure that everything's enabled. Much time. I won't forget what you've done. But if you're able to just do all the other DLC, that should just be enabled. What's the code? 216. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just hit 216 and then enter. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, the intent on discovering yeah. the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Go buy the slave. I did it. Fuck. After all, we have to be left in a state like that. Yeah, but there's a slave you're ready to buy Paradise Falls. Careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. Okay, so you have to. Yeah, I had to kill myself. I was to kill myself. Despite assurances to the contrary, I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. 
fuck happened to his daughter? Yes, yes. Oh, she's, she's just sleeping. Fine. Oh, she will be. It's, it's like residual whatever happened, really but she's just... She's got a little bit of radiation enough. poisoning. <laughs> yeah. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Mine ends and yours begins. <laughs> Just about two weeks. Two week of coma. Don't worry. Not bad. We've been taking good care of you. Oh yeah. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt so, we shall ever be able to truly. I would recommend you. skipping the vendor here in the Citadel and going to Rivet City and buying some nukes. I won while yeah. we've had a decisive victory, the un Indeed. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. This is a special Before version of the Fat Man in this game that shoots eight at a time. I'm sure what the fuck? I thought was going to crash it, my game. <laughs> brief you on the, of the last few weeks, <laughs> as well as where our efforts There's are Eight nukes tonight. going off at once? That's insane. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. The sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can here, put cat. an end to all this. Please be careful. Why should I? Small guns. This needs to be a, an 80, I believe. Also work on uh energy weapons too whenever you uh you can max both of them out before level thirty. Yeah. Also barter yeah, that's another one. It just makes shit cheaper. Do Grim Reaper Spring. Is whenever you kill something, it automatically uh, regenerates your action points. Presence detected. This unit has activated. All right. All right. You said skip the trader here. Yeah, because um, mini nukes are like 250 caps a piece. Need something, friend? I was gonna sell some shit to her at least. You could do that. Yeah. I mean, I could just go put all this in my fucking house. Fuck, why is he sleeping in the old dude's bed? It's a communal queen size bed. And I fucking guess so. Because the kid wanted <laughs> in there was gonna go and fucking steal the alcohol, it looked like. <laughs> Everyone's invited. Like anybody can sleep there if you want a good night's sleep. It's the best bed in the entire place. I'm gonna put some some shit away and then I'll go sell some shit. Yeah, you need something? What brings you back to Megaton? I live here, dumbass. <laughs> 200 year old queen bed. Yeah. Didn't get affected by the nukes at all. Very nice to be years of people sleeping on it and it's like. Amalgamation of people's 
sweat, skin, and all that. Get rid of all the things I'm not gonna sell in my inventory before. Those heavy incinerators are pretty cool. Yeah, I saved a few of them. You're gonna come across a lot of Hellfire armor, so up to you whether or not you want to save them now or later. sell everything in my inventory now besides my food and shit. Do you have any plasma pistols, like regular ones that aren't the Nova Surge? Um yeah yeah. I would save those for sure. Probably work some of the rifles too then. my bartering thing so I can get more money out of everything. I know I have a barter hat. You have to do that when you level up. There you go. Roving trader. Oh yeah. I forgot the roving trader outfit. And if you have the hat. I should somewhere. Unless I didn't pick up the hat. Yes, I didn't pick up the hat, or it's somewhere else. Hmm. All right, and you say go to Rivet City? Yeah, go to Black and Trap Mills in the marketplace. Who's the fucking richest person in here, in the game? Uh, most, as far as I know, would maybe be Tenpenny, but as far as I know, it's, it might all be, just be talk. Um. Makes sense. Yeah, I just got that skill. Decided to check out the shop. Aren't you afraid someone would use your own guns to rob you? <laughs> oh yeah, I should repair shit before I fucking sell it too. Anything that's like near broken, yeah, for sure, repair. But sometimes you lose out on money if you repair everything to max level.
Or if there's like a filter so I can see like what's broke and what's not broke. Yeah, like anything with the super low bar. Definitely broken. Like the pistols, the plat uh, the laser pistols, like you can pretty much repair those to near new, but the rifles they're all pretty expensive, even if they're not fully prepared. Up your mind. Damn, what the fuck's worth a thousand? Oh, because it's brand new. He doesn't even got that much, he ain't getting that shit. Fucking broke. Who's next? Welcome <laughs> to Patrol. I think. Oh, uh, buy the mini nukes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the mini nukes weigh anything? No. Made up your mind? Because I know in Fallout 4 they do, and they weigh hella. No, this one's just ammo. found anything you Damn it, five? But <laughs> Give me a shout if you need anything. Nice to see you again. A pleasure doing. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a Ah, I knew you. Does he even buy shit that's not food? He does. Uh, he should have some stim packs. But yeah, you could basically give him whatever. Peace out, Monster. Have fun with your playthrough, bro. Sounds like it's gonna be hard if you're not gonna use any of the DLCs. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll be right with you. 
Welcome to Gary's Galley. Oh, she uses the same money he does. Everything looks okay. Let me or a security officer know if you see any. Take a look around. This most star is trying to get that 2008 feel. Just vanilla game, no DLC. Dude, see Grave look like a he looks like a Q tip. <laughs> a Q tip? <laughs> <laughs> he does look hella weird. Like, what is that helmet, bro? Right. Alright, well everybody here is broke. I just broke their economy. But they can sell their shit and make it back. Uh, there's also Dr. Preston, if you want to go there. Where's he at? He's, uh... Um, I think it's the upper level. The bridge tower? Not that up. Not that high up, but, like, the level before it. So the hotel? Yeah, it'll be that same level, yeah. Probably in the science lab. No, he's got his own little Rivet City area. Clinic. Everything looks okay yeah. here. This is a you're in the Rivet City Clinic. Shit. Nice. Oh yeah, ask him about the the android. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. The one speech one hundred percent one. Yeah. Facial surgery is way too dangerous to try. Does this say 28 skin packs? Fuck. And expertise. Hmm. Reminds me of this old hoax. Here, listen to this holotape. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna buy, your I'm gonna buy his skin packs now. Damn, I guess you still have to grab a couple more hollow tapes for the Android Quest. I'll give him four caps. Fuck it. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Charitable donation to his clinic. Yep. She doesn't even live here anymore, does she? Dr. Lee? Uh, no, she'll be at the Citadel. But you already beat the game, so actually she'll disappear. Oh. And then you'll find her at Fallout 4. 119 stim yeah. packs right now. I'm catching up, bro. I'm looking for there. Nice to see you. I got a fucking gnome up there. It's weird. Did you hear about the Now time to go make this lady broke. Hey.
красиво. Pleasure doing. She only has twenty five. You are broke as shit. Her inventory might have not reset since you last traded with her. Yeah, that makes sense. You're starting to do what I did. I would Enjoy. go to every vendor. That is literally what I'm doing. Uh, every single vendor <laughs> in the game. You'd best have cancer cat. because from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number one right now. What the fuck rule am I breaking? Oh, he's just a cranky old fuck. Jesus Christ, fucking dick. Uh, if you do the medicine skill, he'll do a... He'll tell you about the android. Okay, I'll do that. You done? Probably down at Rivet City. Anything that has any use out here, they snatch up for themselves. That damn Pinkerton don't share nothing. There it is. Now you can go talk to All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the waste. The fuck. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. You gave oh, me yeah. a Nuka Cola. <laughs> Bless you. That's all you could do is give me a Nuka Cola? Bruh. Sometimes they'll give you, uh, fancy lad cakes. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, bro. They, one Nuka Cola is all they could come up with. That is insane. Isn't there like a gun stellar here? Uh, there's Moira. There's an armory. Is the armory just no one sells anything in there? So the armory is locked behind the very hard door lock, and you have to lose karma to get in there. Oh, but it, you literally, there's no one to buy shit like that. That's hella weird. No, there's really not a lot in there either. Do I ever? In fact, she's probably the richest one here. Thanks. Fuck, what happened to all your money? I remember giving you fucking three grand. She spent it all on the meth that she uses. Fucking probably. Good hunting. I'm just here to guard the goods, that's I think that's everybody in Megaton. Will those kids buy shit? No. Annoying. Uh, well, yeah, kinda. Um, if you talk to the the medic oh, I know where and go. the uh, I'm gonna sell shit to Vance and his crew. There. So yeah, the trader. For the vampires, says like, from what I remember, he carries like at max I've seen, he has like 30 skin packs. Damn.
no pressure, but I have a level 12 character on my Xbox that has like 160. Jesus Christ. A level <laughs> 12? Needed a place to get out of the sun for a yeah. while. Yeah. I understand. It's like, it's like a merchant mentality once you adopt it in this game. It's like hard yeah. to let go of. I mean, that's how I am in Fallout 4. I, have, I fucking pick up and I sell so much shit. I just haven't bought fucking. I Thanks don't again really for buying out. I just collect my caps. I'm a hoarder for caps. For a reason. Yeah. New Vegas is even worse because caps are more so abundant. Beat. Yeah. I still haven't. I don't think I've ever beat New Vegas yet. New Vegas is the same problem as this game. Like, you can beat the game, but you can't keep going. Oh, that's annoying. They don't even have a DLC. Damn, this guy has 36 pa stim packs. They have DLCs, but. There's none that, like, let you continue on. That's annoying. Alright, you're gonna have 23 caps, bud. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, 36. That's the most I've ever seen them have. Hey there, cutie. How's it hanging? That okay, was fucking I guess. weird. The new guy's taking up most of my There's a special time, sword you can get here if you want to break into his cabinet. Whose cabinet? Uh, Vance's. You just have to go into his bedroom. Stay the fuck there, Vance. It's in one of the wardrobes in his room. Alright, this one this is locked hard. Yeah. It's called the Vampire's Edge. Should I just show it to him? <laughs> the family <laughs> I don't know if Flex. he does anything. No, he doesn't. It's literally the one he has. Oh no. No, he has a shish kebab. What do you think you're doing? No, I literally could have just pick, pick, pick pocketed him. Where the fuck to you now? I think I just have to wait until they fucking respawn. Do you want to get the ghoul mask? I'll probably do that tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of a process. Yeah, it's probably lo uh, a pretty long DLC too. No, it's, it's not a DLC. It's just a side quest, but you have to like... Do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm just trying to make make like 10k caps and then I'm going to sleep. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to make 10k caps today since everybody's fucking broke already. How much stuff do you have left? 1500 weight worth. If you wait three days in game time, you could regenerate their uh, loopholes. You just have to wait. Been rather busy lately. What the fuck is this? Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator, a detective for hire, or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who oh. simply wants to be left alone? Yeah, she's nothing. Please Don't tell worry me. About it. I'd really like to know. She's like uh, 
Let's cut to the chase. She's part of the railroad. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movie whose goals are directly opposed to your yeah. own, apparently. What the fuck? It seems you're trying very hard to locate an is she in Fallout 4? My associates and I have tried no. very hard to hide. Oh. You can see how that puts us at odds. Tell her to fuck off. Fine. You end up helping the Live same in way and then you get his badass plasma rifle. It's an internal component. Don't ask how I obtained it. If you change your mind, if you decide you want to help, present the component to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead, and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. He'll go back to the Commonwealth, and you'll have saved a man's life. Oh, <laughs> the Commonwealth, okay. I'm still gonna come back in the search for that shit. Fuck. I didn't even get a way to full day yet, because I heard dumbass. <laughs> Like the second you start that quest, we we'll start trying to find you. Enough of the the wait time, every vendor will be restocked. Okay. Back to Rivet City. And I think it's been three days now. I think I waited like four. Not yeah, to sit there and wait much. again. You're not getting no food tonight, cat. It's fucking 3 a.m. You can wait until the morning. <laughs> if you want a gun, Sup. You come to He's the gonna hop up. Decided to. Need to do. Don't step on my keyboard. The cat wants to play. Probably. Wants to play Fallout. Yeah. He only has one mini move now. Yeah, sometimes you get five, sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two. Give me a shot if you don't even think. Welcome to Potomac. I think. Give me Welcome a shot to my clothing shop. Else? Oh, you only want my skin packs. Hey, sir. Nice to see you again. You're doing business. Stranger, but wanna buy a girl a drink? No. You have shitty hair. I'm beat. I'm gonna go take a nap. You make it quick. I'm gonna. What? <laughs> she said. <laughs> she asked if I wanted to buy her a drink. Oh. Leave me alone. <laughs> Welcome to Gary's Galley. Like, fuck no. <laughs> you can buy your own fucking drink. A pleasure doing business. This is none of your business. The fuck are you talking about, bro? Haven't run into you before. Nobody does. I'm. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. Oh, so he's gonna kill himself or something? That's what that sounded like. Oh yeah, that 
that guy. The ship's water is much better. No, he doesn't actually do it, but yeah, he's a little pity pot. Bro, it's not that serious. Hello, mister. Good, Good to you. see you. CJ Young. Do the that is such a weird ass system. fucking kid name. Especially a little girl. CJ. Yeah, hey CJ is a guy's name. You don't yeah. look hurt. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Play as Rataway right too, if you want. Eh, Rataway's right not even that good. Good right to see now. you. Hey! We play it plenty right now, anyway. Alright, still so much shit. If I wait oh, more days, do they fucking get more money, or they just stick with the same amount? It's every three days. I'm talking about like if I wait, if I don't sell them stuff for three days, and then I wait like six days, do they have more money? Oh no. Oh, that's me. There's also the people at Tenpenny Tower since you have the you have all the map markers unlocked. You want more vendors. Okay, yeah, because we just know how much impacts does she have? Eight. Hmm. Don't forget to sign out. Don't forget to sign out. Is there a DLC in New Vegas that lets you uh, play after? Or no? No. Oh, that's lame. I wish 10 penny. Oh, let's get the damn over. Here's Oasis. Oh, if you want to go to Canterbury Collins, if you have the map unlocked, you can do, go do that. There's a guy there that sells a bunch of sim packs, too. You said that's by Vault 101, right? Yeah, but it, it's by the right side of the map. gonna be like so we pass the DC area it's gonna be you farther up on the me, right you can kiss my ass we've got plenty of bottle caps let me in god damn it how many times really, you have really really not not oh look at really the tank tower trying to sell yeah, shit to these guys up. but I need to fucking get in first what are you look what are you looking at you have to wait for the gold leaf does he not sell anything Roy Phillips no. No, Roy Phillips is the, the guy you want to talk to about getting the gold mask. I thought I told you that. That's for the last something you can do later. But no, is that the little thing that we gave him that you get into the are? Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on... So I can't even go in here. I'm here to see Tenpenny. You have to pay a hundred caps, sorry. That's so expensive. It's gonna break the bank. 
Alright, pay shit. <laughs> if you bother this ten penny. Welcome to ten penny. Oh you pass speech egg, nice. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Hello. What? I guess. Oh that guy has a He sells ammo. So he's a separate vendor all on his own. You got so many power fists, Jesus Christ. He likes fisting. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Here, bro, this should make, should make you some money whenever you need some money. A pleasure doing business. Hey. Hey. So I gotta go inside to sell, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Yes? What is this shitty ass elevator music? Yeah. That's one of the downsides. So you could sell to all four of these vendors. The ones are going to be uh, the boutique one, and then uh, enjoy your meal. Urban Apparel, I think, is the one. Well, well. A strong silent type, eh? We're in luck. Ever met a ghoul before? Fine. Never mind. I thought you, make you were the blonde a real girl man. A slave. Which is weird. You just sent it. It'll send her to Paradise Falls. Hello. But welcome to. I think, if I remember right, if you hack that robot's terminal, it'll like, either make him sell more things, or it'll make his prices cheaper. Just call me. Can you not see me, really? That's what I remember. I'm gonna try to hack it. I'm gonna make sure I hack it. Where's it at? Do I not have one on me? I guess what I are you looking for? A stealth one. Is it stealthy? As long as it says hidden on the top of your screen, you're fine. Just keep in mind you lose karma every time you try to hack it. My karma is probably so um, high. Huh. I thought you broke it. <laughs> Ten. Yeah, I got the perk where it doesn't break it. Ten oh. or fifty. Holiday what does it say? Reset priceless, 10% holiday, or VIP percent 50. Oh yeah, do the 50. A very. <laughs> shit is cheap as shit now. Stupid robot. Uh, hey. Yes? This guy sounds and looks familiar. 
Where the fuck are you? Yes. I once did a playthrough where I did the, the ghoul invasion, and he was sitting there in that chair, and he says, Oh, I don't suppose you'll let me finish this drink before killing me, and then I stopped him. <laughs> like, while he was trying to take a sip. He's like, I just, I just want to finish my Hello. drink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let me die drunk. <laughs> right. What the fuck is the... Isn't there one more fucking vendor in here? It's, yeah, it's downstairs. So I gotta take the elevator, or...? No, it's it's gonna be... Called La, Bo La Boutique La Chic. Later. You see it? It's, ah, it's run by this chick in a pink dress. Time to get some beauty rest. Nah, I haven't this guy Damn, why are you talking shit about my clothes, bitch? Not uppity enough. Oh yeah, Urban Apparel is the other guy. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Are you gonna fucking sell? This is, is he not gonna d sell me shit? He should. He won't. What time is it? Maybe he's going to bed. He's probably going to bed. I'm gonna rob him real quick. Maybe. I would say it's 6 o'clock. 8 p.m. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I guess he might be closing. Very good restorer of faith. Hey. I'm off duty. You're still Jesus. Yeah. After I just robbed that guy for 300 cap. Alright, y'all go back to your fucking shit. Just go to sleep. Wake up in fucking like nine hours. Oh, who's that one in the nightwear? Uh, I don't know. I already went to sleep. I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> she came from this way. Hey. Wasn't it her? No. She's wearing a little gown. Hey. The boutique Le Chic should be on the other side of that. There you go. Oh. Ah, that's it. Tenpenny promised me safety and security. And that damn useless Gustavo lets thieves run amok. This is the last straw. I'm leaving. You're in there, but now you're in urban apparel. There must be somewhere. I just made that here. guy fucking. He said he's leaving because he got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, who did this? Oh, uh, where's it at? A uh, boutique cheek. Yeah. Nobody's in here. What time is it? 10 a.m. Huh. Yeah, there's normally a girl with a, a pink dress that runs that store. I'm gonna rob her too. Dumbass. Stay in your store and you won't get robbed. She's still not in here. Is it this chick? Hey. She has like brown hair. Susan Lancaster? Have you no. The newer, healthier additions to the menu? No, she has brown hair. I can't remember her name. Yeah, that bitch is not in here. It's the same dress though. Alright, I'll wait a few more hours. Let's steal our sugar bombs. I want to get into this, but then I need a key. I'm 
Unless this can unlock it. No, you need the key because that's the the vendor box. Okay. Oh well, yeah, that that come on. Herbert Daring Dashwood. That's the guy from the radio. Six and fap on us and vault sixty six. Evening. I'm here a trader outside too that I can sell shit to. I forgot about that. Here. You've done so Another much one? for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Stim pack, thank you. Oh yeah, they give you gift stim packs every once in a while. It's the same chick every time. Hey, what can I get you? Mm Christ's sake, you don't look sick, and you sure as hell. I'm here to take your money. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so before you sell everything, remember all those different things you could buy from Moira to put in your house? Yeah. I should go buy that, I forgot. Oh, I just remember. I think all I needed was a laboratory. Laboratory and I think the Nuka Cola machine and the jukebox if you want it. And if it's yeah, I'll probably just take three of them. Jukebox, laboratory, Nuka Cola machine. I think that was everything. Take these two. Good hunting. All right, I think I can walk around without being on. Oh my God! Thank God. I'll just save whatever I have now. I have so much shit still. I can use these when I get that one plasma rifle. Yeah. Oh, how much money did I make? And how much stim packs? Nine k. 253 stim packs. That's still like nothing compared to what you got. Hey, you're on the way though. Yeah. In like two years. Now. <laughs> 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 oh, Where's my jukebox and shit? Now, uh, it did say that you were addicted to something, so you could use the lavatory to... Yeah, I was addicted clean. to the fucking... Forgot what it was. Did this shit even work? 
just uh, I think it's um, detox or so detoxified or something, whatever it says. You have been fully detoxified. Well, you can also make, um, it's like a random choice, but you can get Stimpaks, you can make Mentats, you can make Mad X. Make Psycho. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 15, I still need 15 bobbleheads. So there's one for every, total. and then there's one for every skill. Alright, so there's 20 total. Good evening, sir! What can I do? Alright, I think that's it for tonight, though. I'm gonna go put this still in my inventory real quick. Made a lot of progress tonight. Yeah, I beat the game. <laughs> Made hello money. Yeah, hello money. I now have fucking. I don't have to worry about health anymore either, to be honest. Oh shit, I need to upgrade one of these. <laughs> six, 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 seven, hey, ten, four, three. Gels too. And I still got nine more levels to go. Oh. If you want, I could uh, do a little research and try to figure out where all the bobbleheads are. I know one of them. That would be helpful. For the special traits, one of them's going to be in the Death Claw Sanctuary, so probably want to bulk up for that one. Yeah. Oh, and your followers are going to be at the Citadel still. All of them? Uh, Fox and I don't know about the dog. The dog seems to be MIA. Yeah, and the other, I don't think the robot will fuck with me anymore since I'm basically God. So, did you check all the way outside of Vault 101? What do you mean by all the way? Like, fast travel to Vault 101 right now. He, yeah, because he would be sitting right there. Where did he go? Dude, I have no idea. As soon as I went in there for this quest, he just disappeared. And you're sure he didn't tell him to wait? Oh, 100%. I was trying to make him follow me the entire time. There's Dude. no way he died, so. No. Unless he's... I can't remember what else we did last night. I mean, I know I sent you... Where's those raiders? Maybe he's stuck over there somewhere. Is he maybe at the grocery store? Oh, the Super Duper Mart? Maybe. Would he be inside? Possibly. It's really weird because, like, he does disappear every once in a while, but he doesn't disappear for this long. Oh, he's been gone as soon as I launched the shit today. I can go. Do I can go check to where I found him again. No, I don't think he's in here. The only other place I could think that he might be would be at the minefield. I think you grabbed him before you went to the minefield. 
No, I grabbed them after. Oh, do you? Yeah. What the fuck is he? Oh! Dude. Huh? Uh, go to the alien beacon. <sighs> that makes sense. He might be there. The fuck is the alien beacon? There's so much shit on here. The top right corner. Top right or top left? Well, it's gonna be like towards the top right. The scrapyard. Minefield. Alien homing beacon. You just passed it. Just that. That that little arrow on the little compass was a follower. I know he's not here either. Where's that raider place? Maybe he's over there. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. Yeah, he's gonna be a Vault 112. Is he? The fuck's at Vault 112? Remember, that's where you went to Tim or the the simulation. Oh, what the fuck is it? Vault? It tells your followers to wait when you go in there, and you have to tell them to follow you again. What the fuck is Vault 112? It'd be Smith Casey's garage. It's by Little Lamplight. If he's not there, then I'm officially stumped. Nope. That'll be like by the little machine that you were in. So frustrating. I'll go check the scrapyard again. Maybe he went back over there because he didn't know where else to fucking go. Sounds like some shit a dog would do. Go back to the first. I think place. it's possible. Show something here. Could be a little friendly blip on your map. That's where you found him initially. Yeah. Well, I just 
think he's gone. If only there was a command to teleport into him. Oh. The fuck? I grabbed him yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, I know what happened. Remember, I reloaded my save because I like oh. I I did fucking something like stupid as fuck. <laughs> I'm, that makes I'm sense. I was looking up the Fallout wiki, like trying to figure out a code that you can use. Yeah, I was like, I want my dog back. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. My dog back. Then Fox is gonna be at that spot where you woke up. I wish there were up. more people like you in the world. Jesus, this I Christmas they give this. me everything. I hope it helps keep you safe. Where's my company? Fifteen five five six no. rounds. Can I make him wait Pardon? in my house? Yeah. You tell him to stay. Go wait for me at Vault 101. What the fuck? Why would he wait there? That's if you wanna. That's if you want him to like stop following you like together. But you could just tell him to stay. I'll make him stay outside and the house. Every eye shall be Sleep. I found my my dog again. Now we're all caught up. Okay. All right, bro. Good night and good night, everyone in the chat who's still here. I'm going to sleep. And I've been tired for good like all day. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow. It depends on. The if I'm hella tired or not.